Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome to Busy Bees, a one shot with Roll Together. How's everybody doing tonight? Thank you for joining us for an evening of Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, it still is just about. We'll get to the rules of what we're doing in a sec, but yes, everyone <laughs> here is playing a fantasy character in a shared fantasy universe with some interesting tweaks on the existing rule structure because it's nearly Valentine's Day and happy Heartmas to everybody. Is that a thing people say? Oh, yeah, it is now. Yeah, it's now. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. We hope you enjoy our fun little one shot here in our D&D &D world. For those of you who don't know how D&D &D works, the players are all playing characters in a shared fantasy universe and they all roll 20 sided dice to see what they can do 20s and plus are amazing ones and below are hilarious and you feel free to laugh <laughs> when they roll ones it is funny it is always funny no it is to me anyway that's basically how this all works they play their characters and i play the rest of the world all the things they have to deal with today including all sorts of delightful shenanigans which we will come back to later. But before we get into too much of what we are doing, let's get into who these people are playing and they can reveal some of the wonderful ideas we've come up with for this lovely little one shot. So starting with David, who are you playing? Who are you? Hello, uh, I am David, uh, pronouns are he, him, and I am playing Brock, who is a badger barbarian, <coughs> pronouns also he, him. Lovely, splendid, thank you very much. And Anna? Uh, hello, I'm Anna. My pronouns are she, he, and they, and I'm playing Oink, who is a pig bard. <laughs> and and his pronouns are he, him, and I'm really splendid. excited about him. <laughs> thank you, Anna. Toby? Hi. My name's Toby Osman, for social media purposes. <laughs> 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 actor and uh i go by he him leaf my hedgehog druid uh, <laughs> doesn't actually know what gender they are because they were a hermit who was brought up in a a box of leaves um and they've never really met any other hedgehogs so they don't really know about um <laughs> you know all the all the stuff okay um, but they're very they're very wise in the ways of the stars and the forest and they're they're very stupid in everything else <laughs> is they them all right in terms of referring to them Toby? yeah lovely thank you uh tom <laughs> hello i'm tom he him and i'll be playing will be the little fighting otter so sharp teeth so violent <laughs> <laughs> and what pronouns will be used? Uh, he is he him. Thank you. Lovely. And Emma. Uh, hi, I'm Emma. I'm Jennifer, so if you could just use M or Emma to refer to me. And I'm playing Hop, who is a rabbit sorcerer. <laughs> um, yes. Hop is also Jennifer, so if you could just use Hop to refer to Hop. That'd be great. Thank you. Lovely. Splendid. Thank you, everybody. So, yes, they're all playing animals, and you'll find out why soon enough. But before we get to that, let's talk about some practical stuff. So, the stream runs for approximately three hours, and there'll be a break about five, ten minutes somewhere near the middle. We have some wonderful sponsors and supporters arrayed all around us, as you can see here today, including the wonderful Hero Forge, who make uh, 3D printed character minis. What have I got here? Ooh, I'll use this one. This is a 3D printed character mini. Look at it. Look at that beautiful mini. There it is. That's a Kenku. It's beautifully done. Uh, this was designed online, printed, uh, 3D printed, in colour, and then just sent to me. Isn't that fantastic? The way that minis have changed. When I was a kid, minis were all about buying something and going, that's beautiful, and then trying to paint it and going, why have I made Pennywise the clown? But now <laughs> you can make wonderful minis with no skill whatsoever, which steers right into my wheelhouse. So it is perfect. I'm so pleased. And Hero Forge are perfect for anything like that you're looking for. Head to heroforge.com for everything you can find there. We're also supported by Ultra Pro. Ultra Pro do the physical tabletops, so dice, dice boxes, dice trays, um, other gijors and uh, wallets and sleeves and all the rest of it, and some lovely little figurines that you can keep by your desk. This is my gazer. He is my favourite. We have many others we can give away. There'll be a um, thing in chat about how you can join in the competition. Basically say anything in chat and then the chat moderator will let you know what we're giving away today. Might be one of these, might be something else. You'll find out in chat if you pop into there now. Thank you very much to ultrapro.com. 
We are also supported by two online D&D games. One is a mobile game, Warriors of Waterdeep, and one is mobile and for computer called Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms. There's more about them at the bottom of the screen. You can press uh, with an exclamation mark. It's exclamation mark Idle Champions, exclamation mark Warriors of Waterdeep for more about each game. And if you are here from one of those games, hello, try out the other. See what we're doing? Yeah. They're both fantastic. They're both digital strategy games. If you like D&D, you'll love playing around with all of them. They use a lot of characters from the Forgotten Realms, and they have some of their own characters as well. Great fun. Do check them both out below. And there are also giveaways for each game today. So for Warriors of Waterdeep, type in WOW Gems, exclamation mark WOW Gems, into chat, and you'll get a link which you can head to on your phone for some free gems. And if you type in exclamation mark code, you'll get a code for Idle Champions you have to put in manually, but more information about that is there if you type those codes into chat, and you can make that all for yourself. We're also supported by Level Up Dice, who have made dice for us. I know, real dice, just for us. We have a whole series with them called Table Shakers. The reason why they're called Table Shakers? They're fucking massive. <laughs> These are the D10s, there are D20s as well, just D10s and D20s for now, but they are huge, made of metal, and they make a lovely sound. They're very loud. So, yes, do do make sure... Thanks, Tom. That's Max. Well done, everyone. <laughs> but, yes, make sure you use them in a dice box if you want to keep your table intact. So, those are our lovely supporters. Finally, we play with a diverse group of players who play a diverse set of characters of wide-ranging sexual and gender identities. Our tables are transpositive, and we both encourage and champion trans players, characters, and DMs. Hello in our games. Uh, the DM and players may portray characters that are of a different gender to themselves, and while we aim to avoid misgendering, we do appreciate it does sometimes happen. We have a company policy for misgendering, which you'll probably see in use throughout the stream. Uh, please do send us a message if you think we miss anything. Always important to be corrected, and we're very open to that too. Cool. I think that's basically it from us. Are we all ready for the cutest adventure we've ever run? I think, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Busy bees. No, that's, that's too epic. Where do we find ourselves today? Well, we are in the small village of Eldergast. Eldergast is far on the outside of all of the other major cities and towns of the Forgotten Realms, buried deep in the Trollskull Mountains. It's a quiet, pleasant day, but it's always a quiet, pleasant day in Elfegard. It's a lovely place to be. Everyone's having a wonderful time. The villagers are happy and content. And why? Why do they have this bonhomie of spirit, this wonderful life they lead in the middle of nowhere when orcs or gnolls or just asshole humans with crossbows could turn up at any point and ruin their lives? It's because we're telling a children's story on the CBBs. No, 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 it's, it's, it's not meta, it's real, it's real. Um, <laughs> it's because the town is protected. The town is protected. And the townsfolk aren't even 100% sure they understand how the town is protected. They don't really know what happens, just nothing bad ever seems to. This bucolic existence seems to continue forever, but we know the truth. We know the secret. We're gonna fuck it up. No! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I'm doing an intro! Um, this town will be burnt to the ground by the end of this session, just wiped from the map. Can't even run a show. Um, so, <laughs> the town is protected by animal spirits, left here by a druid who used to live in the town, who awakened some animals and gave them all a sense of purpose, a place, gave them all a job. Protect this town. And not an at-all-costs-you-must-do-it-or-you'll-die nonsense like that. Just look after them. They're nice people, and you're nice people too. So you live here, you look after the families here, you make sure everything is peaceable and safe. Sometimes raising your little fists in anger against something awful coming over the hill, but most of the time you're able to steer things away from here. Anyway, 
you're having a wonderful time as part of this on a regular sort of lovely spring summer's day where could one find the five of you either together or apart feel free to jump in is there like a stream yeah there's a nearby brook Probably by the stream, mm -hmm. I think. Oink would like to be. Mm -hmm. And I would be in the stream. Be in the stream, sure not. Yeah. That's nice. So Oink and Wilby, do you often hang out together in the stream? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Oink likes to try and sp split his time equally between all of his companions. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we hang out by the stream, me and Wilby. Well, so, Oink, are you friends with the other pigs in the village or do you tend to steer clear of them? Um, I, 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 Oink, as a habit, tries to be friends with everybody. Okay. Um, obviously, you can't be friends with everybody, no. but Oink, Oink really tries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some of the other pigs um, can be a bit mean to Oink sometimes because they think he's weird because he can play the, the lute. Um, <laughs> and, the, and, and the flute and, and the bagpipe no <laughs> um, but, but Oink tries to pay no attention because Oink knows in his heart that everybody loves it when he plays his music where do you keep your instruments? well in his little house of twigs that he lives in um, <laughs> but also Oink has little straps that he kind of fashioned out of like tree vines and ivy and stuff and so occasionally we'll just like strap them to his back so that he's got them carrying them around with him you shouldn't build your house out of sticks somebody could just blow that down yeah, that's fair. believe believe me my ancestors know <laughs> <laughs> um, the ancient yes. myth told down through time <laughs> that building houses made of tweeds is a bad idea. <laughs> Lovely. So the townsfolk don't don't see the pig with the straps and the bagpipes. That's just a thing. <laughs> That's the thing that happens. Cool. Lovely. Uh, there is that pig with that loot again. <laughs> you have to play those bagpipes, I think. How about you, Wilby? Do you have anything about you that makes you stand out from other otter kind? Um, I'm I'm bigger than other otters. Um. Again, sort of, I think maybe I found a hat at some point. <laughs> I'm an otter that wears a hat. And then again, I think the locals would just be like, oh, there goes that otter <laughs> wearing his hat again. All right. I think it has to be kind of that the locals are a bit, like, just <laughs> no, don't discern much about the landscape. Around. Don't think about what they're looking at. Go, oh, an otter wearing a hat. It's normal. <laughs> what kind of hat are we talking? Flat? Trilby? Uh, yeah, I think it's sort of like little flat cap. Little flat cap. Little yeah. flat cap wearing otter. Cute. Mm. What are the two of you doing by the babbling brook? I think um, Oink is practicing the flute. And I am listening intently, kind of like otter claws up, right by my mouth going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good. Mm. <laughs> Just very encouraging for my friends. Aww, that's very sweet. Roll to performance check, Oink. Let's see how well you're playing the flute. Oh, okay, yes. Um... I'm a bard, so I roll really well at these. Um, <laughs> We're also assuming uh, the townspeople just occasionally hear a flute from the brook and go, <laughs> it's normal. <laughs> That's <laughs> uh, 28. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's a good first roll. Um, uh, yeah, the... How is this pig not famous? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your, your flute playing is, is splendid. Very, very nice. And uh, Will be you are a discerning otter and you recognise that um, Oink is... Pulling out all the stops with the, with this flautist mm. flautistry. <laughs> do you like it? Is there something I could be doing better? What What do you reckon? No, that's that's really that's really good. Um, I like the bit where it goes up, but then goes down again. That's really nice. Oh yeah, but what if I yeah. do it in a minor key? Hold on. One... Oh my goodness! Like that. Oh my goodness! Is that better? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. I oh I don't. I wish I could write, so I could write that down. How are you yeah, playing the flute with Shrotters? Let's do it. <laughs> You'll have to ask the gods that made me do it, won't you? Fine. So you two are having a... And we do every day. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you give me this talent? Well, frankly, I'm disappointed in your attitude. Um, I really thought this was quite impressive. Anyway. <laughs> So you're both enjoying your time by the babbling brook. Uh, would anyone else be hanging out together, or are people off by themselves? What's the dealio? Uh, 
from a, uh, a pig that likes the play sets to a badger that lives in one. Um, Brock is, is pretty shy, to be honest. Uh, he likes to hang out with the others when, when invited, but has this uh, sneaking suspicion that, that, that maybe people find him a bit annoying and that his company is not always wanted. So he likes to hang out as a, as a oak tree on the village green and he sees this as his area to sort of protect and preserve. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's just, um, I was going to say, oh, he's sitting on a deck chair, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Again, these villagers are canonically, they they do, they are not discerning. They are not noticing these strange things that happen around their town. Very low so. passive perception. <laughs> <laughs> sitting by the tree, smoking a pipe. Why Reading this paper. Smoking a pipe? Right, just um, smoking a pipe. I am probably <laughs> nearby because I have stolen a bicycle um, and I am learning how to ride it. <laughs> Grab me the land vehicles check. <laughs> oh, what, what animal are you looking at? So there's a rabbit on like a, uh, probably a child's bicycle, <laughs> cycling like ears flowing in the breeze, just going, Wee! Sorry, that was that was really loud. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. Sorry, the internet. Uh, Please don't apologize for that's, that. That's a, that's a 14. 14. Yeah, you are riding your bike around the village green. And again, no one seems to notice this or pay much attention to the rabbit riding a bicycle really fast. <laughs> and Brock, you are sat by the tree, uh, smoking yeah. a pipe as described, uh, on a deck chair if you want to be watching yeah. this happen. Looking at, looking at Hop, thinking, that looks like a lot of fun. Maybe I could go over and ask to have a go. No, Hop wouldn't like me to go over and ask to have a go. I'll just sit here with my pipe. Smoking away, looking at the clouds, preserving the village green, like I do. Perfect smoke ring. <laughs> very nice, very nice indeed. And Leaf, where can we find yeah. you? So, so Leaf is a hermit and um, like lives on the on the outskirts of the village. Mm -hmm. uh, and Leaf was also an orphan. Uh, they were they were brought up in a cardboard box full of leaves oh. and never knew that any other hedgehogs in fact there was actually one instance with another hedgehog but they don't talk about it because <laughs> they um they were so scared of seeing another hedgehog they thought it was like a ghost so they they lightning powered it to death um, <laughs> oh my god oh. But leaf is like uh, Leaf saw this play in the village once while all the humans were watching it called Maud of the Rings. And oh my Leaf God. reckons themselves as like a bit of a, a Gandalf character, Gandalf the spiky. Um, <laughs> and, and because they've got like animal friendship and they're a druid and, and they, they've got extremely high animal handling role, they, they <laughs> like often like try and ride these like miniature sort of Dartmoor pony things <laughs> or shell and bones, <laughs> the tiny things. <laughs> but because they're a hedgehog, it's like riding a mountain. <laughs> and, and they got a pension for the dramatic, so they'll do like uh, gust can trips wherever they go to oh like prelude their coming and be like, <laughs> I have news, grave news. <laughs> and, then, and then whenever they leave, they'll do a little druid craft to, um, to tell the weather and let the villagers know what weather's coming, <laughs> but very dramatically. There's a light shower <laughs> coming this evening. Is, is the Bye. Druid school called Hedgehog Wars? Hey. Hey. I think we can safely establish that the, that the people of the town, because of these antics, are aware of you more so than we originally planned. <laughs> they're aware they have these weird <laughs> awakened animals that hang out and they're just aware of your lot's existence and just go with it. Like they're totally fine with it. It's just a thing about the town and they think it's cute. On this day of all days, Leaf, it is particularly good that you are with your penchant for the dramatic. Can you describe your your little burrow that you hang out in? Where is it from? Uh, it's on the outskirts of town. Where is it? How is it different? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a hundred percent a pile of leaves, and okay. um, uh, I, which is why I'm called Leaf. But because I've got an intelligence of eight, I spelt Leaf wrong. 
Um, so, I mean, this is not an intelligent good. party, Tobes. This is yeah. not. Excuse me. Oh wait. No, no you're yeah. right. <laughs> uh, but um, Leaf often uh, gets upset because they they like to a, a gust can trip and then blow away their pile of leaves and then just spend ages <laughs> trying to get them back in a pile again to mm-hmm. to sleep in. But yeah, any pile of leaves they call home. Cool. Um, as you are sat in your pile of leaves, what are you doing on a regular day? Just sat there thinking, or are you you about to do something, or do you have something be quite sedentary? Well, I I do a lot of um, casting, speak with animals, and mm-hmm. animal friendship mm-hmm. uh, because um, I also locate animals or mm-hmm. plants, mm-hmm. Um, and then sometimes I use the most. Uh, pointless spell in all of fifth edition skywrite mm-hmm. to write pretty messages for my animal friends but it's the like non-sentient animal <laughs> friends because that's still within the rules of like being a, a proper hermit okay um, so i'm just talking to all the animals around and, and practicing voices probably oh <laughs> <laughs> well yes, that's a good one <laughs> As you're talking to one of your animal friends, you notice out of the corner of the uh, corner of your eye something very strange. You think you breathe. <laughs> Good oh. acting. <laughs> you, th- you think you briefly see out of the corner of your eye a small humanoid figure about the same size as you, running very very quickly through the grass around you, and there's a faint kick up of dust and leaves and <laughs> run straight past you and you can sort of you feel your your um spines ruffle in the breeze i definitely twirl around on the spot <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> but so they're this... a small humanoid the same size as me yeah very small and they have just shot past you and um you can just about see where they're kicking up dirt going very very quickly towards the village can i call out in Gnomish. Sure. <laughs> uh, I'm aware most gnomes are larger than you, but uh, are you a particularly short gnome by any chance? <laughs> uh, the figure ignores you and keeps going. I say, I say in common, uh, do you speak the common tongue of these parts? You're <laughs> much smaller than a, a regular inhabitant of these parts, but mayhaps you speak the common tongue. The figure has now gone. I, I in Druidic, I start going, achoo, the trees, do, trees, Druidic. Oh, I should find a pony to ride into the village and let them know the news. And I start sniveling around looking for a pony. I'd say there's a field of ponies, which is why you've been doing this, so you could easily find a pony to leap on the back of. Yeah, 100%, I do that. Cool. A pony also... is about, I mean, even a small Shetlandy style pony would be at least a metre tall, and you are a hedgehog. How do you climb on its back? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, uh, I'm going to cast Animal Friendship oh. and uh, ask it to help me um, to get on its back <laughs> so I can ride it because I've just seen something very dramatic mm-hmm. and I must share the news. Of course. Um, Animal Friendship, how do you cast spells? What is your druidic spell casting like? What's the flavour? So, well, I've got a tiny little wooden club and a tiny little wooden shield, and I think I sort of bash them, they're like an inch, they're an inch each. So, and I bash them, and I go, oh, mighty forest powers and starry skies, grant me your power of drama, and let me make a friend where I had no friend before. The pony turn. Have you got to speak with animals cast? I'll cast that as well, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, does, your, does your shield make like a gong sound as you like, <laughs> as you smack it? I do have speak with animals. I can do that as a ritual, so I don't Do, do we want to say back. that you've had speak with animals cast and you've got it ready, prepared, so you can talk to oh, the pony? I do it all the time because yeah, I'm fine. always talking. Yeah, so. that's fine. Um, yeah. The pony's going to sort of lean around and look at you. Is it time again? <laughs> it is. <laughs> then I'll let find us. I'll you a carrot. I promise. <laughs> Good. I am. I am willing and able. Let us. Let us ride. 
and yes. the, Tony's going to do this sort of really awkward sort of lean down to your level, which means basically lying down until you can get on the back of it. And it sort of slowly lifts itself up again. You've cast Animal Friendship, so no checks or anything required. You can just ride it. What do you, where do you tell it to go? To the village screen! <laughs> Away we go! And the pony just <laughs> rears up dramatically, and you nearly fall off the back. And, uh, you go, oh. and you both go riding towards the village green. In oh, the village... Just, oops, sorry. I was just saying, I just love the idea that uh, Toby playing sort of Gandalf, just run, buttercup, <laughs> show us the meaning of moderate hate. <laughs> Not too fast! <laughs> oh, Thou shall not pass the cattle grid! <laughs> <laughs> so, in the village green. Oh, Whee! Brock. Sorry. Uh, what are your passive perceptions? 13. Uh, 16. Brock, you see before Hop does, there is... I'm busy. Yeah. There is a sort of... You see, you see the line of movement, and you don't see the creature. Something is just run very, very quickly through the village green into the village proper. Brox is like, that is not an everyday occurrence. Did I see it? Uh, roll me a perception check with disadvantage because you're busy. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a seven. No. <laughs> There's, there's, there's clearly, clearly something of some some haste required. So mm -hmm. uh, Brock will slowly get out of his deck chair, fold up the deck chair, yep. put the pipe on the ground, <laughs> and slowly <laughs> start walking over towards where Hop is on the bike. Mm -hmm. Hop! Oh, Brock! What are you doing? You got up from your chair. Where are we going? Are we going somewhere? You look like you're going somewhere. Where are you going? Are you going to do this whole adventure? Um, Hop is... <laughs> Hop is called Hop. Hop because Hop literally can't stand still. They're always hopping from one foot to the other. And um, their the ears are in perpetual motion because mm -hmm. of this. Mm -hmm. I cast Valium. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, there, there's, a, there's a strange thing happening. I saw... Oh, a, where? I saw a streaker. It was it was streaking across the green, and, and I think no, not in our village, not a streaker. No. Yes. Again, I, I know last last um, month there was there was another occurrence, but this one seems stranger because they're very small and very fast, and I think maybe we should uh, invest. Well, where did they go? You can get on the bike if you want. I'll take you there. Where did they go, Brock? Where did they go? They went. That a weird. Well, hop on. I will. I will get onto the bike. Uh, um, are there are there sort of stunt bars on this bike? <laughs> no. So I'm just trying to sort of hold on, like a I mean, like a sort of piggyback. Let no. us be fair here. This is some kind of proto bike because we're still in you know Ooh. classic, Ooh. you know late Renaissance um, yeah. D and D world. So it's like a... Leonardo da Vinci made a bike. Mm. <laughs> it's yes. a human sized bike. Two animals can fit on it. I'm sure it's just it's not a particularly um, like it's not a particularly like there's not chains or anything. It's a very basic bicycle. Can I uh, cycle in the direction the Brock is pointing? Yep, Brock will have accidentally put his paws over your eyes out of fear of this. Um, oh, Brock, I can't see anything. Um, um, it's very dangerous because I can't see where we're going. Um, oh, squirming. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That was that was a mistake. Uh, are we are we still friends? Oh yes, of course. You're on my bike now. Yes, we are on a bike together, and we are going in that general direct. Please. As the bike moves forward, uh, you see Leaf riding up on on one of their ponies right next to you, and you can you're now almost in tandem riding into the village. Leaf, hi! Look, we're on a bike. Look at the bike. Isn't the bike cool? I am here. <laughs> I know. I can see you. I urgent news. We'll say it faster uh, then. I very. Very, very, very small person approaches. I have most likely beaten it in haste upon my mighty steed. <laughs> Was it like a little Question streaker? Because I think Brock saw it. Yeah, just try to communicate with Leaf in a, in a way that I think I feel like I now speak Hedgehog. Yes, there went 
towards the village through the green and we are in pursuit going after them. Why are you all talking in slow motion? I thought that was a thing uh, we did now. <laughs> Very fast for me. <laughs> um, I've been practicing this voice for many, many uh, minutes. Um, <laughs> what is a streaker? <laughs> oh, you don't want to know, Leaf. Promise. <laughs> Almighty druids accumulate wisdom, and so I should like to know, even if it bad news. Sir. True druid takes the good and the bad. Streaker or nay? Oh, horse joke. <laughs> Can I ask, uh, are, you, uh, are you like shouting to each other <laughs> as your mounts are riding or have you stopped to have no, this no, conversation? No, no, still going. <laughs> takes a good five seconds for Brock to get the horse joke. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, that was funny. Um, <laughs> well, you know when the humans take off all their clothes and then they run around naked, that's a streaker. Oh, yes. Oh, interesting. Maybe we should try that, but we'd have to find some clothes first. I like your big metal whirly machine hop. Very good. Yeah, the bike is great. It's very fast. I could probably go faster than this. Might be dangerous, though. Now, obviously, they're making relatively quite a lot of noise, so Oink <laughs> will be. Would you have noticed from behind you, heading into the village, this uh, hop on this strange new bicycle contraption that one of the villagers has been footling around with? Probably got the idea. It's in water deep. And uh, would you also see Leaf riding in majestically on their noble steed? Um, Possibly. I think we're very intense in trying to workshop these songs. Yes, <laughs> you know. that's what I was about to yeah. say. And it, it dep I mean, my... Hold on, what's my passive perception? <laughs> hold on. Mine is 10. <laughs> I'm up to 13, actually. Mm. All right. I'm really into your music at the moment, so... <laughs> yeah. So I think maybe I maybe I can hear there's something interrupting, and I, I'm about to turn around and be like, would you mind? But actually, I realise there's something kind of a bit weird going on. Yeah, okay, okay. As um, you turn yeah. around and realise something a bit weird is going on, something a bit weird happens around you. Dun, dun, dun. Of course it does. <laughs> the water of the brook starts to sort of flow out and up into the air and floats between both of you. Can you both please make me a wisdom saving throw? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I should have got <laughs> 15. Oh. oh. Lex, hold on. <laughs> Gone. Gone forever. Gone forever. Yes, my favorite one. <laughs> Never coming back. Right, I did, hold on. <laughs> If that had landed on a natural 20, then I'd have been Oh, Jesus impressed. Christ! I, I really, I bet I'm going to find out in a sec what that landed on, because I just rolled a three, so that's a six. Um, oh. But I bet, the, I bet the first one was like a 19, and that one annoyed me. Um, anyway, I'll roll the six. Oink, <laughs> you just gaze at this water, beautiful, <laughs> floating in front of you, enchanted yeah. by its brilliance, this strange, magical effect happening in front of you. Will be water doesn't flow out of the ground like this. This is definitely wrong. <laughs> my home. Put my home back. That's where I live. Bad. Naughty. Naughty. Do you water. start trying to put the water <laughs> yeah. back? In? Yeah. <laughs> Will be as you look back at the brook. Part of the brook has now raised up, and there is a humanoid figure. Now, of course, substantially larger than both of you. That has just been raised up out of the water, and is clearly controlling and manipulating the water in front of Oink. Oink, this is the most beautiful thing you have ever seen. Now, maybe your your hypnosis is this idea of I should write music about this or something, but it's just you are in you are engaged in this fully. Whereas will be, um, you're aware that something's wrong. I think he's improvising on the flute alongside, being like, "Oh yes, inspiration." I think I do take a moment just go, "Beautiful." Remember that for later, and then turn back and go, "You, you're the one who's causing trouble. Stop it! It is my job to stop people like you." And I'm just sort of like, 
if you can't understand Octo, I'm just there going, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> 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 just really intense guttural growling, but in this kind of voice. Now, you are all awakened, so I will say that you can all understand each other, but yes, to outsiders, you're just the animal going, ah, at the top of your yeah. lungs. <laughs> No, no problem. Link's beautiful music uh, <laughs> just sounds to humans like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> beautiful to us. Yeah. Shocking. A flute oh. is a flute. <laughs> flute sounds like a flute. This is true. Um, Wilby, would you like to do anything about this situation? Would you like to roll anything or ask um, them to do anything? So at the moment, the figure's just looking at you, and you're looking at the figure. So it, we're sort of making. Are we making eye contact? Sort of. I think I am. J- it, I think this might be an intimidation roll. That I'm just trying to like shout as loud as I can. And Please do. Like, thank you. Uh, so, uh, that's a seventeen. The figure, as you sort of just like backs up, like what the hell, like backs up slightly <laughs> in this sort of. This is not what yeah. I was expecting. The yeah. the hypnotic pattern remains, and Oink is still hypnotized. But at this point, the figure isn't taking any aggressive action; it's just watching the two animals and suddenly realises that you've got a flat cap on and is even more confused <laughs> and is just watching this situation in front of them not quite sure what they want to do you can't have my hat it's my hat I found it <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sort of looking at Oink going are you gonna uh, I think I might just sort of like headbutt him a bit you know just going come on we... you can shake Oink out of the nodding pattern if you want that's yeah. perfectly fine so like sort of bopping him with the top of my head, going, come on, mm-hmm. this is weird. Ouch. Oink, you are shaken out of it. The water is <laughs> floating in the air, weirdly. That's not right. It's not right. Oink, they're trying to steal the river, and that's bad. Excuse me. That's really rude, actually. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Again, just an otter and a pig going, mm, yes. <laughs> pig going, And <laughs> 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 The figure stops, the, the water just <laughs> hits the ground and sort of slowly trickles back into the brook. It's not like, it's not animated, it just water naturally f- goes down the hill. Um, yeah, you better run. Yeah. It's going to look <laughs> yeah. at you both slightly strangely and it's then just going to sort of <laughs> form back down into the water and seemingly vanish. We did it! We saved the village! <laughs> Can, oh does, does this seem like the thing is over or that it's going somewhere? You or have what? no idea. Okay. Oink, you are not intelligent song. characters. I am not giving you this. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. You start playing I do, a, <laughs> I do a little dance. I do a little dance of victory. We've saved the village. Although, so you're not, you're not going oh, anywhere? Oh, you're just going to. Will gonna... be. Will be. Mm-hmm. The, the others were running. On a horse and a bike. At least I think it was a bike. I, I don't. I've never. I don't know what that is. But um, that it's got wheels. Scary. It, it, it's brightly coloured. It's got like a yellow. Anyway, never mind. And um, they were running towards the green. Do you think we should go? They looked. It looked quite urgent. Looks at the river. Looks at. Yes. <laughs> do you want to? Yes. Come on. How far can you go? That's a great question. Uh, probably not very. My dexterity is a four. Um, <laughs> you both have the same speed because of D&D rules. Oh, thank God. Um, I do have mobile, though. Which is though. where? Mm. Where is my speed? Uh, will be, you have, inches yeah, will be, if you have mobile, then you are, of course, a lot faster, so you can move quite quickly. That's fine. <laughs> Are you going to leave one behind? Are you going to leave one no. behind? No, you're gonna... no. I think we're going to we're going to run in step. This is this is exciting. This is another big adventure. Lovely. Not as big as the adventure of the streaker from a couple of months ago. But this is <laughs> pretty thrilling. <laughs> protected this village from all sorts of terrible things, including streakers. Those horrible people. <laughs> Again, flashback. You go, that man has no trousers. <laughs> <laughs> It was after a particularly exciting football match, probably. Anyway, you are all making your way towards the centre of the village. Um, the uh, bicycled and uh, ponied people will arrive suitably earlier. 
in the middle of the village there is a small town square around which most of the houses of this village are arrayed. There are a couple of small roads that lead off. They are sort of dirt roads, they're not paved or in any way anything clever like that. Um, and most of the roads sort of peter out after a few houses. There is the one road that goes back towards the main road, and it's the road no one goes on, because why would you go to the main road? It's awful. Then you get to I go on the main road for four days, you eventually end up in a town. But yeah, um, you are all moving towards the centre of the village, and inside the village is Carnage. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. A number God, of the clown. Oh, oh God, he's back! We thought we got rid of him. He's back. There's no drains. There's no drains in this part. Oh God. Um, <laughs> well, after we're done with it, we've got um, all the drains. There are figures. Most of the townsfolk, your friends and people that you care about, are running around shouting. You can see that one of the houses. There's just a whirring blur of activity on the inside, and sort of comedy cartoon feathers puffing out of windows occasionally while people run out of the house screaming. Um, in another part of the village, you can see other figures, um, small figures, much like yourselves, causing all sorts of havoc and chaos. There's a figure that looks to be um, sort of making various different plants and animals grow out of the ground and wrap around people's feet. There's um, a water spirit grows out of a, the watery brook that runs through the side of the village and just starts to walk out and starts pulling water out of the ground and trying to ensorcel more people like the two of you have already seen before. So yes, the village is in complete disarray. Um, what would you all like to do? If you want to focus on specific areas or look for specific families that you care about or even look at specific creatures you see moving around, you're more than welcome to. Tell me what you'd like to do. Is there a bakery? There is indeed a bakery, and from the inside of the bakery you hear shouts and screams and occasional comedy puffs of flour puff out the window. Brock is very concerned about the bakery because they mm -hmm. have often given him honey bread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are very kind and lovely people. Mm -hmm. Brock mm -hmm. is, is definitely... I think I think they're, 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 they're interfering with the bakery. Um, um, if we don't stop it, there might be no more bonds. And the bakery is right next to the greengrocers, and they give me carrots. Uh, the greengrocer is currently uh, sort of jumped up on top of a sort of, like a stand of vegetables, and a small humanoid figure with a red hat and gigantic boots is just stomping around, going rah, 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 and kicking stuff over, and How just being a bit of a... Is that? that is about 30 feet away from I'm going to cast Chill Touch on it. <sighs> what does your Chill Touch look like? <laughs> what does your Chill Touch look like? It looks like someone getting bonked on the head with a ghostly carrot. <laughs> okay. Bonked on the head by a ghostly carrot. What's What do I have to roll? What's happening? Um, it's a spell attack. Okay, make a spell attack roll. I shall. I'm cross. I love that we're going straight to kill. <laughs> <laughs> I have rolled a 23. You, you, oh. hit, you hit the little fae, yes. It gets bonked on the head with a ghostly carrot. Yeah, I can see that. Um, <laughs> It takes 15 points of damage. Oh, what? Which is just one off max. Um, and the carrot sticks on its head, um, and it can't regain hit points until at the start of my next turn. Can't regain hit points anyway. Um, I think it's time for everyone to roll initiative, please, as this oh, has just no. happened. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, Brock is just like, I'm glad we're friends, Hop. <laughs> we're great friends, Brock. Yes. Huge smile going, it's great. I love that. I, I love that you can now see the dice rolls on Beyond. That is. Really I can cool. see the dice rolls on Beyond here. Yeah. I got the best initiative roll I've ever got. Is that a zero? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I have rolled a natural twenty. Hey, what does that Very make good. it? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Wait, if we roll on Beyond, does it come through to you? I can see them in the game log now. Yeah. Cool. Wow. We, we can see them as well. It's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I have rolled a fourteen. Fourteen for Oink. Got a fifteen for the Brock. Yep. Uh, Wilby, what'd you get? I rolled an eight. Eight. Fantastic. And I've auto-rolled for all the monsters, because there are lots of them. Good. Right. So... Chris, this game's not going to have any combat. Here's Locke. <laughs> <laughs> Hop, you've just cast this spell, bonking this uh, creature on the head for 15 points of damage, who looks over at you. 
He looks this really angry and frustrated and is going to start sort of moving over towards you. However, it is your turn. <laughs> what would you like to do? It's very early in the day. I don't have very many spell slots. <laughs> um, how how many things I could cast sky right. <laughs> how, how many things could I potentially get in a fireball without getting any people, please? Oh, it's the middle of a beautiful bucolic country village. You you couldn't get anything without hitting some part of the village or personages of the village. You know, look, there's little Tim. There's over okay. over there over there's Mrs. Maple. These Don't people are all your friends. Tim. Um, I, stole his bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to quicken Ooh. bless. Ooh. Um. So I cast that as a bonus action. Who are you blessing? Three people. Okay, there are currently three four, three of you here because the other two are still on their way. Yes. So me, Brock, and Leaf. You, Brock, so, and Leaf are all blessed. Um, it's almost like. You suddenly get a mouthful of carrot, and you just feel better. And you get My to add... Suck, I suddenly have dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> like, you ought to imagine that you suddenly get a mouthful of carrot. Uh, That's definitely to, great. You get to add a d4 to um, attack rolls and saving throws, so... <laughs> um, Thanks for the carrot, Hop. You do feel better. Um, and then I will cast Chill Touch again. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you get them, Hop. Um... If I had a d4, which I do. Whoa. Oh, that was a two. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a twelve. Mm-hmm. So that's fourteen at eight, which is twenty-two. Yeah, you definitely hit the um, the small figure with the red hat again. And that is six points of damage. Mm-hmm. Bonked on a <laughs> carrot. Like, is it like a spectral, almost like a spiritual weapon? Bizarre. It's sort of like bonk, boom, boom, two hits with the carrot. <laughs> Great. Yes, sorry. Um, Hop is a divine soul sorcerer that worships the god of rabbits, hence why I have cleric and sorcerer thingies going on. Thank you for sharing. That is excellent. Lovely. Well, as you do that and bonk twice, woof, um, there is a flash of movement. I will jump. I will just uh, stop the bike. Oh, I'm sorry. And stop us on the bike, and then I will just step behind Brock. Mm-hmm. That's fine. I'll I'll just maybe just I'll actually just maybe just move slightly further away. <laughs> move as far as you want. This creature has a speed of 120 feet. I'm just going to stay behind Brock. <laughs> <Just sit. laughs> this again, this strange. As you make your intentions clear and very clear indeed, I should add, there is a sudden <laughs> puff of like noise and sound, and suddenly faster than you can even see. <laughs> This thing comes zooming and streaming out of the front of the bakers and comes flying straight towards the three of you. Well, plus the pony, so the four of you. Um, Brock, this creature is going to run past you. Would you like to use an attack of opportunity? Uh, if, if it's looking like it's going to hurt the bakery and my friends and the people of the town, then yes, yes, I would. Cool. Make an attack roll with disadvantage, please. Thank you. Uh, but plus the d4 because you're blessed. Uh, cool. So 17 and an 18. Do I need to add the d4? <laughs> no. Um, as you, as a figure runs past, how do you how do you stop them from getting past you? How do you clothesline them? Just like a, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt my buns. <laughs> And um, is that that's a normal normal attack in terms of damage, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fourteen. Yeah, you you smack heavily into this very very fast creature, and how do you down it in one? Now remember, this campaign is not so much about murdering these creatures as about stopping them. So, what do you have in mind as this thing tries to be super quick and super fast? Use bong. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely like not. Just the just the the, the act of clotheslining and running into this surprisingly hench badger arm just <laughs> knocks the thing out. <laughs> it's going it's going at a pace, oh. right? Because it's running so fast. Yeah, it's just like running into a wall. <laughs> Which it does. The quickling runs past at super fast speed and just. Ah, ah, oh. ha, ha, we'll show you. Ha. And hits the deck in front of you, unconscious and out for the count. 
Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't be sorry, they're horrible. Okay. The the smallish fae with the red hat on just oh comes striding over and has supposed to have metal shoes on, which is a very odd look, but is going to come sort of pounding over towards the all of you. And Brock, since you hurt its friend, it is going to attack you and pulls. It was just like kicking things with its boots and just being a bit of a bit of a knob, honestly. And uh, instead it's turned around now, it's pulled a sickle out from inside. It's just a little curved sickle and just <laughs> it's going to step Can forward we... and just try and stab you with the sickle. Can we talk about this? <laughs> Uh, and it makes <laughs> sorry. it makes three. As you know, no, it's, it's not going to use its sickle. It's going to kick you. It doesn't like it. it's going to kick you. It's going to run up and it's going to sort of swing out with its big feet and just try and kick you in the shins. Make me a dexterity saving throw. That's on that twenty. <laughs> Of course it is. I, that, I can see it come up as well. You say it, I look down and go, oh, oh, and I can see it again. Uh, how do you avoid the kick as it tries to kick you? Uh, it's very much Badger meets Matrix. It's like, no. <laughs> yeah, uh, the um, red cat runs up and tries to kick you with this gigantic iron boot, and you just no. Like it's it's not like trying to do like a matrix style kick at your head. It is not that cool. It's a kick for the shins. It's, it's all that practice reclining in a deck chair. It's like <laughs> recline more, <laughs> and you recline low enough to for it to avoid your shins, which is incredibly impressive. <gasps> So cool! I love to limbo. But yes, the red cap is now up amongst you. Uh, the watery naiad that was moved out is going to um, look at the situation in front and just gives a very sort of like superior. Why? Why would you do this? And is just going to turn around and head into one of the family homes nearby. From inside, you hear screams of terror. Yes, yes, Leaf. You you want to say something? Yeah, can I, I speak Aquan, so I want to call out and say, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> bad words. He said a bad word. As as you shout that out, the you're literally going to get this from the Naiad as it turns around and hears its language. Just walks out of <laughs> shot. <laughs> just walks into the house away from you. No interest in dealing with your nonsense. Brock, it is your turn. This red cap is in front of you. What would you like to do? Brock is uh, well. The screams. Uh, where did the where, which which building did the Naiad go into? One of the family homes. The the I was going to say the Potter family. It's not the Potter family. Um, <laughs> this is not There's... that adventure. Uh, the Porter family. The Porter family's home. I am fed up of you streakers attacking my friends. <laughs> and um, Brock is going to rage. <gasps> And how that manifests is uh, starts to grow some big claws on the paws and um, starts to shift slightly, turning from looking like a badger to looking like a honey badger. Just sort of like, like hunches over and just, <clears throat> just gets... <laughs> I said, you stay away from my friends. <laughs> Rage mode activate. Well, that's a bonus. Uh, yeah. That's a bonus action. <laughs> yeah. So action wise, we're going. We're going to attack with these claws. Okay. Um, so I can make four attacks, and this is basically just just trying to slap the thing. Mm -hmm. Um, just, just claw stop slap. It. Stop attacking, my friends. And this is the red cap in front of you. Yes. Cool. Because I I want to. Try and try and sort this situation out so we can go and, and help people. Sure. Uh, cool. So that's a thirteen on the first one. A uh, thirteen. Oh Do god! Why does it say C? Uh, you're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. Oh yeah, plus a four. You, the carrots mm -hmm. give you extra. <laughs> carrot, carrot power. That's a fifteen. Yep, that's enough. Uh, you 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 slap. You slap the red caps. <laughs> um, is it? it yeah, uh, do I, I roll the other attacks as well? I guess. Please do. Yeah, roll all your yeah. attacks. Roll all the hits. Perfect. Cool. Um, that's a fourteen. I can add the bless. If needs to be. Uh, fourteen is fine. You still hit. Cool. And then. Uh, that's a twenty-one. Yeah, all of all three of those hits. So bang, cool. bang, bang. 
How and come you've got that's... three attacks? Oh, you're offhanding. Claws. I see. Yeah. Um, offhanding. A, oh, yeah, and that's an 18 for the fourth attack. Uh, plus I'm raging, so do I add two to each attack? <laughs> yes, you add two to each attack. So eight. <laughs> uh, eight. I've rolled three ones in a row. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> And a 9, 8, 16, 24, 33. How do you slap this red cap into complete submission? It's just a sort of <laughs> glaring at it. <laughs> and then just a double slap to the side of the head. <laughs> Goes down. I didn't want to do that, but you made me. <laughs> it just... It just... <laughs> And also down on the ground next to it's quickly And now he's not from Newcastle anymore. He's from the East End. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Dr. Geordie and Mr. Hyde. Yeah. Um, Brooke, has anyone uh, ever told you that you're kind of scary when you're angry? I just want us all to be friends. <laughs> no. uh, and then, uh, movement, I'm going to dash after the, the Aquan that's, that's terrorizing. Well, you can't dash, you can move. You uh, can well, move. I, I, when I say dash, I don't mean yes. dash is in game. I just mean you can you can, you can move across to the Porter household, and if cool. you step up to the doorway, you can see the Porter family is rather terrifiedly looking at this figure stepping into their space, mm -hmm. who's once again swilled some water out of themselves and sort of placed a watery, sort of lovely landscape in front of them, and they're starting to Ooh. sort of blink and get a bit taken in by it. Uh, I have forty feet of movement. Does that mean I can get closer? You can get to the door and look in. That's fine. Yeah, yes. so I can, I can, I can actually see see what's going on. Yeah, that's get fine. over here. He's doing something watery. <laughs> uh, <laughs> some other things happen that you are unaware of. Oh, no. Oink, Wilby, you arrive on the outskirts of town. You can see that there are two strange-looking fey creatures just knocked out in the middle of the square next to Hop, looking at them as some sort of like, oh. Um, and Brock in horrible, angry Brock form, which you only see very occasionally, uh, has moved across to the porterhouse where something's clearly happening inside. There's still shrieks and cries coming from various other houses around this space. This is not just one or two things attacking. Oink, you are here first. What would you like to do? Okay. Uh, how close is Brock to me? Brock is a good, like, 60 feet away from you because you're, you're just arriving and they're already in the middle of the thick of it. Okay, and how close is... I'm I'm just such a useless combat character. Okay. That's kind of the point. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, Brock is 60 foot away. Yep. I would like to... I'm going to use my, the dash action, I think, mm -hmm. to get closer to Hop okay. and Leaf. Mm -hmm. and as a bonus action, I would like to cast uh, Bardic Inspiration by Ooh. like just whipping out my, my loot. In fact, no. <laughs> I'm, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to whip out, I'm going to, I'm going to whip out my bagpipes. <laughs> and, and play of, of, of like, not, like very rousing, like patriotic in the sense of this village music <laughs> on the bagpipes and cast bardic inspiration on, on Brock. So Brock can um, add uh, a, a D8 to whatever. I'm just you... imagining you skidding into view, just landing there <laughs> next to Hop, who's looking like, yeah, so you're there just running. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happens, canon. Oh, and these poor villagers are like, and now this is happening. <laughs> this is every May Day all over again. <laughs> oh, hi, Link, you're here too. Oh, and bagpipes, great. <laughs> Love the bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is your inspiration? Oh. A D8? A D8, yeah. Uh, you have a D8, Brock. And a bless. Yeah. And a bless. Wow. Uh, lovely. Wilby, you are also struggling into town. Again, you are a good 60 feet away from Hop and Oink and Brock. Angles. Um, so you and Leaf, who's also there. Yeah, <laughs> and also Leaf. <laughs> so instead of zero, like Leaf's just there going, whoa, in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, danger. Right. Thanks, Leaf. Uh, you say there's, there's shouting coming from other houses. There are shouting coming, yes, there is shouting coming from a wide variety of houses. Um, 
Are any of those houses closer than my Yes, one of, them, one of them is very much closer. From inside one, you do hear sort of screeching and shouting. You're not quite sure what's going on in there. It's a family home again. Okay, I think I'm just going to... I'm just going to go, Hi, I'm going to go deal with this! And mm-hmm. sort of peel off towards, mm-hmm. towards the house. Okay. Uh, also sort of just going, Whatever you're doing, stop it! It's bad! You're being bad! But again, if you're hearing an otter, it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Here. <laughs> <Is it the laughs> <thought process? laughs> I just hear weird screaming. Oh, the otter's here! <laughs> as, you, as you head to the door of the house and look inside, you can see that there's a family of four who are just cowering under the dining room table, which is in the middle of the kitchen. It's one of those kitchen dining room sets. It's very nicely done. Um, and in the kitchen area, pots, pans, all sorts of items are being picked up. You can't tell by what. They're just rising into the air and then being thrown across the room. Just thrown across the room. Again, I'm sort of standing in the doorway going, Stop that! Those are nice pots and you're being horrid! <laughs> I guess, again, just intimidation towards... Sure, go for it. Towards the room. Roll me intimidation, that's fine. Okay, that is an intimidation. Uh, that's a 15. Um, a beautiful ornate jug is just like rising off a countertop and suddenly just stops, just floating in midair. Down. Down. It just floats Down. in midair ominously. No. <laughs> no, I think I know what you want to do and you're not going to do it. It wouldn't be polite. No, Again, you're... the bless, bless will be. He's having a long conversation, <laughs> not quite clicking that no one can really understand what he's saying. He's like, I will be reasonable. I will use diplomacy. I will explain that you're a guest in this house. Again, cartoon is just... Rah, rah, rah. The intimidation roll was your action. Do you have a bonus action you want to take? You've halted um, proceedings. We haven't stopped them. Uh, can I sort of... Can I hold an attack here? Uh, that would be an action to hold an attack. Okay. Um, Have you any bonus actions you particularly want to use? Well, that's the thing. So, like, I guess it would be attacking, but I can't see anything. So, mm-hmm. uh, just quickly. That is fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're a fighter. This is how fighting goes. You're in the doorway. You're 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 on top of this. Leaf, you're in the middle of all of this nonsense. What do you want to do? Oh, so there's no uh, nasty little fay outside in the street. Not visible. No. Okay, um, I'd like to go. What sort of what's, what are the roofs made of? They like thatched roofs. They're mostly thatched roofs. Some have started doing this newfangled thing called shingling. Okay, uh, the one with the uh, water ne- nead nead in. If that's what you want to think it is, be my guess. Rock outside. I'm just wondering about what could pierce the roofs. Um, and I'm thinking, like, maybe we're kind of sort of Team America in our approach to saving citizens. It's like, oh, they just blew up the Eiffel Tower, but they saved the day. Um, so far, you, you and your compatriots have been very restrained, and I think that's how you usually handle things. Okay, <laughs> fine. All right, I am um, really slowly sort of plod the... Uh, the miniature Shetland pony over to where uh, where the Nead Nead the Nead house is. yes the porter yeah. house and I say in Aquan I told you to, mm, uh, I predict mainly sunny spells with a little bit of pain and I do a guiding <laughs> bowl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, the humidity! <laughs> oh. Right. Um, Make that sweet I attack roll, though. Yes, it's 21. Yeah. yeah. As <laughs> I predict pain! What does your guiding yeah, bolt yeah. look like? What is it? Does it sort of, like, how do you summon it? Um, it? There's definitely, like, sort of gusts of wind and sort of leaves start blowing around me mm-hmm. and then there's just like a, a bolt of um probably sort of slightly browny green energy okay but i'm a hedgehog Fair. brown 
Brown yeah. leaves, not green, really. Okay. Oh, I'm old. I'm an old hedgehog. <laughs> I'm five. <laughs> I'm five. <laughs> so I googled the lifespan of hedgehogs before this game. So yes, you shoot your guiding bolt out at the um, naiad, as a naiad, and you hit it. You, it impacts against it. Bam! Thirteen. Lucky for some. Nice. Unlucky for naiads. Very and, good. Uh, Advantage on the next attack, right? next attack on it, which yeah, will right. probably be my friend Brock is going to beat you now. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus actions? Nah, unless I've got a cantrip that I can do. No, there are no bonus actions. Cantrips apart from Troop Strike. Which, no, it isn't, even a, it isn't even a bonus action. Um, Yeah, Troop Strike. I'm good. Hop. Are there any houses nearby me that have screams coming from them that I could enter? Yeah, there are. There's still the bakery. That's still uh, there's all sorts of mess coming from the bakery. Um, um, the buns. What the about buns? The, the green grocers? The green grocers are fine because the red cat's been dealt with. Yes. Um, in that case, seeing as Brock was so concerned, I'll go to the green grocer. Uh, the bakery. Bakery. <laughs> what was that? Emily, you going to the bakery? I'll go to the bakery. Uh, um, okay. I have 35 feet of movement because I'm uh, very fast. As you hop, I could also jump if necessary. No, you're fine. As you... um, but I could. <laughs> Um, really quite, anyway. quite well. Um, you don't need to. <laughs> a long or a high jump? Because you're based on a stage. Yeah. Yes. Um, as you hop your way towards the doorway and look in, it won't take all your movement to get here, you're still you're good by the door. Um, there is a small brown figure running around the bakery. It's already got this sort of faint white dusting of flour all over it, and it's... <laughs> <laughs> running around and it's doing a very weird thing where it's sort of running and then it'll sort of hang on sliding down a little bit of the bakery and then running and sliding up a little bit and it's a sort of weird small again some kind of small fake creature that you don't recognize covered in slippery oil and mm. um, does it look particularly friendly um it looks like it's having a lot of fun in the chaos of the situation. Do the Baker's family look particularly distressed? Yes, they look horrified. They basically <laughs> they're on small chairs and uh, little stool things, just ah, ah, looking at it, and it's sort of picking things up and throws, it's making an almighty mess. In can I can I talk to it? Even with you, sir. You're welcome to try it. Because I speak Sylvan, because ah. I'm a fae. Yeah. Can I go and, like, slide along one of the oily bits with it? Because sure. I really want to. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, like, Hi, I'm Hop. Nice to meet you. Who are you? Why are you here? Nice to meet you. Uh, did I say that already? Hi. Oh. Whoosh. Whoosh. It's going to try and <laughs> skate with you. Are you sort of skating around together? Yeah. Very cute. Yeah. It's, it, it, it's clearly having fun causing this carnage, and once it skates to a certain point, it will sort of skate up to a, to a shelf where there's a bag of flour and just go... Oh, oh, no. Did, did it answer my questions? No. Oh. Oh. No. Can I, can I, like, take its hands? Some kind of check. <laughs> Persuasion? Sure. <laughs> <clears throat> Chaos. <laughs> right, I rolled a two. <laughs> um, oh. But it becomes a twelve. <laughs> Sorceress. <laughs> it's rabbit powers. <laughs> oh. no, can I, can I like, stop it from making any more mess? Sure. Or just like play with it. You do a sort of beautiful, like, um, ice skater routine around the baker's shop in the sort of oily slick that it creates just by sheer existence, um, and sort of puffs of flour as you sort of turn around corners and things. The family who are all sort of, ah, 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 ah. Okay. <laughs> One looks at the other and goes, it's been a weird day. <laughs> but it has. But it has, Mabel. Good. Right. Lovely. Hop, that is your turn. Quickling and the red cup are both unconscious. <gasps> the Naiad is going to turn to the doorway and look at the two of you standing so close together. So, so close together. Just looking at the two of you. No. Reaches out and some of the water <laughs> flows out of the illusion. Uh, the pattern, the hypnotic pattern. 
and floats towards the doorway and just like the skein of a bubble just whoop, fills the doorway just thruk, blocking you off it just smiles winks and then turns around saucy that's what it is saucy Brock it's your turn so currently locked off as far as you can tell uh I'll deal with that barrier in an amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my spell components. Don't get okay. <laughs> No, not more acorns. Why do I have all these acorns? Just <laughs> imagining a hedgehog <laughs> with a little spell quest going. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there is there a window? Yeah. Is it open? Uh, let's say no. <laughs> no. Uh, can I can I skip my go? Is that a thing sure. in D and D? You mean go. hold your action? Can I, oh, can I hold my turn? Basically, you can't hold movement. Is the big thing in D and D? Okay. Mm -hmm. um. I mean, looking at this bubble, it looks like the skein of a bubble. Um. Bonus action, misty step. Oh, I can't cast spells. Oh. I'm raging. You kind of cast spells, you already, unless it's a. Sp Where'd you get Missy Step from? Uh, feet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Feet. <laughs> He's got, yeah, your feet are magic. He's got oh, magic feet. in his new feet. Yeah. Um, no, it's casting a spell then. Oh. It's not a. It's not uh, no, it's, it's, um, it's Fey Touched. On account of the fact that we were awakened. That's true. Uh, Fey Touched, do you get the spell Misty Step or do you get the ability to Misty Step? Very important distinction. I, I get the spell, so I can't cast it. Sorry, you're raging. Unless That's you want to drop out of rage. I, I do not. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the character. The character is dumb. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna try and run through the water. Cool. You run through the bubble covering the door, and it bursts as you run through it. It's an illusion. <laughs> so, take a second to say, take a second to be surprised at the fact I'm not wet. <laughs> the Naya just turn and look at you. Just oh, it's sort of like look of come on. <laughs> like it's that look of. Please. It's why, can't, why can't we settle this over a picnic? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do this. Stop terrorizing people. That's six seconds. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. You have an action. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna have to use my action to um, just try and subdue the the nad by um, shouting, whacking it. Beat, beat it. Beat it, Brock. <laughs> <laughs> well, if my if my new if my friend Leaf is telling me to beat it, beat it, I shall. Um, okay. Wait, why? <laughs> why do we keep doing this? Phrasing, both of you. Go on. <laughs> beat Brock. it hard and beat it fast, Brock. <laughs> first, first attack is I beat it as fast as I can <laughs> until, until this thing is finished. Um, Let's claws. Let's claws. That's a nat 20 on the second attack. Uh, oh my god. Third attack is a 26. Oh my god. I'm not even rolling bless because why? Well, you've also got a bardic inspiration. You've also got bardic inspiration. Yeah, I'll roll, I'll roll the advantage in the first attack in case that's a nat 20. Uh, it's not, but that I hit with all four. Um, no, sorry. The other brilliant thing is, like, I, as a DM, I sometimes, when I'm playing this game, go, I trust people and I trust their dice rolls. And of course I do. But now that I can actually see them coming up, I can go, unbelievable. Like, I can actually yeah. see it happening now. <laughs> Thank you, Doomie Beyond. Um, <laughs> 13, 9, 11, and 8. Uh, 22, 33, uh, 41. Points yeah. of damage. 41 <laughs> points of damage. How do you want to um, smack this nade up? I'm just going to jump onto its face and <laughs> smother it with my badger body until it passes out. Oh my God. Just going to jump That's onto so its cool. face and beat it until I'm, it I'm goes unconscious. This with love. <laughs> I'm it's not, this with it's love. not that much bigger than you lot. Like, you lot, are, some of you are quite tiny. Like, Leaf is tiny, he's a hedgehog. But some of you are quite small. Like, Oink is small. Um, Hop's probably tiny as well, to be fair, but will uh, be in. Rabbits can be quite big. Hares can be quite big. Rabbits. No, rabbits. The rabbits can be quite sizable. You can get quite big rabbits. Small in D and D terms is about three to four foot tall. Is your rabbit three to four mm. foot tall? I mean, if you 
stood one of those rabbits <laughs> up, they'd be quite big. Regardless. Oh I was riding a bicycle. <laughs> the feet were going, so... True. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah. Give you that. Okay, so Hop is also quite small. But um, Brock, you are, you know, not much bigger... You are not much smaller, Ooh. sorry, than this narrator. You can just sort of, like, dog pile... Well, badger pile on top of it, yeah. too. Badger, badger pile. <laughs> I just want to get along with everybody, and I regret this choice of voice. <laughs> no. <laughs> cool. Brock is sort of... Weep. But you do that run in where you suddenly sort of jump sideways and star jump out and just <laughs> <laughs> straight that wrestling move, whatever it's called, and go straight into it. Just it just has a slight look of oh no, I'm you... the witness. <laughs> <laughs> Always going to be I'm one, sure wasn't there? Uh, lovely. Two things happen that none of you are aware of. Oik, uh, Hop has gone to gone to the bakery. Which appears mm-hmm. to have the scre- the screaming and the shrieks have stopped. Um, you do realize that there are really only three other houses where something is clearly going on. Will be yeah. gone into one of them, and in another one, you do hear quite a lot of shrieks. From another, you hear sort of um, hello, what a problem here, hello. hello. I, I I go to that one, don't I? Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You head over to the other house, which is next to the bakery. Uh, it's just another house. And as you step inside it, you can see there's a family. Is it a, 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 a pair, a couple, um, both he, him. And they're both just looking at this creature that's sat on their countertop. And it's mm-hmm. just sat there. It's very small, about mm-hmm. the same size as Leaf. Uh, it looks, for all intents and purposes, like a sort of small, furry elephant. Got this sort of little trunk that just pokes out the front. And it's quite a short trunk, sort of just out the front of its face. And it just sort of looks at you. It's got these huge, mournful eyes. It just turns and just looks at you as you walk in. Hello. Can you understand me? What accent does he have? I'm, I'm northern, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Can you understand me? Mm-hmm. Yeah? How you doing, bud? Mm-hmm. No? You want to talk about it? Mm-hmm. Oh, go on. I'll play you a little song and you can talk about it afterwards. Mm-hmm. Can I can I play like a really cute little "Don't worry, be happy" song on sure. the on the loop? Roll me a performance check. Absolutely. The couple look at each other. It gets weirder in this village every year. A cute little song on the bagpipes. It's a Mac twenty. On the bagpipes. You're playing this on the bagpipes just to confirm. No, no, on the loop. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and, 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 I'll, and I'll sing as well. Um, uh, so it's a Nat twenty, and um, and it's a it's a thirty. In which case, Anna, you are a natural performer. So let us hear what you sing. Oh, cr- shit. Um. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm in my music room! <laughs> it's, it's, it's very much this vibe. Don't be sad. Please don't be sad. I'll be the best friend that you have ever had. <laughs> Aww, that's adorable. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, this sort of very mournful looking creature just sort of mm, mm, like, mm, big sort of goofy smile and just sort of nods politely and <laughs> vanishes in a sort of cloud of gold dust. Um, the next time you finish a long rest, you'll regain all spent hit dice and 10 temporary hit points. Really useful for one shot. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. <laughs> yeah, Do this... I have any concept of what's just happened at all? Or... What's your intelligence score? Um... No, is so the answer. To that. It's uh... oh, it, it, it's an eleven. Most oh, intelligent you, person well, here. You are the most intelligent person <laughs> here. So, <laughs> I will give you this as the smartest, as the smartest pig of the bunch. Um, you reckon these fey 
they're all fey creatures. You recognize some of them before because you were smart. <laughs> um, you reckon they're probably, they probably, like, they all do different things. They have different things they do when they when they go places. Fey tend to have sort of slightly positive, slightly negative aspects. And you recognize these have all clearly congregated and gone into town, which seems like a weird thing for them to do. Like it's a weird thing for them to get together. They it's normally, like, like, normally a fae would turn up every now and then and would do something slightly annoying or slightly helpful and then go away again. But these have all come in and have clearly all come in to cause all sorts of harm and mischief, which is odd. And the, the one that just disappeared in front of me, mm -hmm. do I get the impression that that one is just gone? Like, it yeah. doesn't want to cause mischief anymore? Like, no. Kilmulis are very friendly. If people are friendly to them, then they're happy and they do nice things for you. People are mean to them, they are nasty and they do bad things to you. Yeah. Right. But yes, okay. that one seems to be dealt with. And then, I mean, what's just happened to the to the men that live in this house is um, is a pig has run in. Yep. <laughs> I <ate> the loop. <laughs> wee, wee, wee. <laughs> and, um, and the things disappeared. And then... Knowing that these people can't understand me, I'm just gonna nod and then turn and walk out again. <laughs> they nod at you both with a kind of. That's what you get for living in a town with anime with awakened pigs. Yep. <laughs> just life. This is life now. This is life. This is life. Good. <laughs> you head out. I mean, they too will get uh, you know temporary hit points the next time they have a long rest. So you know. <laughs> right. Good. Will be. You're in the house with the, 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 the sort of rather I mean, ornate jug just sort of floating in midair. Yeah, we're always having a disagreement with mm. a bar. You have a disagreement with a floating bar, that's correct, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I think uh, I'm, I'm just going to glance at the family. Are they they're still cowering? And... Uh, they're cowering under the table. They one sort of peered out and looked at you and recognised one of the town's protectors and just sort of gone... <laughs> <laughs> Again, the eyebrows of an otter going, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> Christ. Yeah. And then back in there, I'm just like, if you put the thing down, then I won't have to hurt you, and then you could come to the picnic that we'll probably have, because we normally have a picnic after these things. Do so, you speak I'm doing? <laughs> Do you speak Sylvan? Yes. Oh, lovely. Um... Mm. Roll me a persuasion check. Oh. Roll well. For the sake uh, of that vase. Yeah. <laughs> 16. <clears throat> the vase sort of floats out of the air and just lands on the table. Out from Good. behind it, pokes a tiny head, like smaller than leaf tiny, yeah. like a humanoid about yay big, just hello. Mm. <laughs> Again, so just like, a... do you like to? Would you like to come to the picnic now? Mm. It's got the beautiful little sort of dragonfly wings that sort of flies around and just sort of flies over to you and just flies in front of you and sort of delicately like... Do you reach out a hand? Yeah, I sort of reach out a little for. Mm -hmm. Lands yeah. on your hand. Thank you, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> It's that sort of weird thing that obviously it's like my front paw, so I'm kind of leaning to Because <laughs> you're an otter. Yeah. yeah. And so, like, on my side slightly, like, just sort of like. It's a perfectly shaped small humanoid. Yeah. Like, it looks like a small yeah. humanoid just looking at you, but it, it just looks yeah. at you with a kind of. <laughs> yeah, now, now what? <laughs> and now what is very much the expression yeah. you get. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I mean, can you. Can, can you talk to your friends and. Tell them to stop scaring everyone because it's not nice. No. Okay. Um. We we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that. But I'll I'll tell I'll tell all my friends that you're my friend. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> and then look at the humans and like, yeah. <laughs> the humans are just looking out at this whole situation. Uh, basically, a tiny humanoid has just flown over and then tell it to, and after just going, <laughs> <laughs> looks over at them. And they've just, <laughs> while wearing a cap. While wearing a flat cap. <laughs> and they just look a little confused and just sort of smile. They do that thing, they do that very British thing of... And I'm there going... <laughs> oh, my side going... Yeah. Terrified. <laughs> Today has been a good day. <laughs> do you step out with a sprite in your hand? Yeah, I sort of like... I try and put them sort of up on my back so they can kind of... Fly around. Yeah. No cool. And then go out. Mm-hmm. Lovely. You are all stepping out. Like, at this point, are you and the Boggle still ice skating? Oil skating? I can't communicate with the Boggle because it won't talk back to me. <laughs> Can we go outside? Can we go play outside? We can go find some carrots to eat. <laughs> I can find you something else to eat. I like carrots. I love carrots. <laughs> well, you haven't told me what you like, so I can't find it for you. Mm. I could definitely find it for you, though, if you tell me what you like. I'm really good at finding things. Excellent. Really, really good. I'm brilliant. Um, it's going to look around and look up at the counter and just take a sticky bun. Oh, <laughs> you like, you're like Brock. You like baked things. <sighs> Do you want two? Takes a second one. <laughs> good. You've got two. I'll go get two carrots and then we're good. Do you want to come with me? Okay. I like wave at the humans as we go. The humans just look down at this and bemoan the loss of their two sticky buns. Um, good, right? <laughs> again, again, they're used to their animal rescuers and just confused. They're just confused. I will go and find two carrots from next door, though. That's fine. The grocer is sort of picking up detritus on the floor and sees you I'll, and goes... I'll put my hand carefully near to the carrots and make a kind of like a face. Go on, Hop. Go on. Don't do. <laughs> I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a 20 charisma rabbit. So. <laughs> uh, are all of you congregating back in the town square? I think so. Can I... Can I tell what's what's still going on? Like what, what um, the landscape the, kind of looks like? Yeah, it seems like everything's calmed down. People are picking up bits of rubbish and the knocked out Fae are all just lying around knocked out. Like they're not a bother to anybody. Mm -hmm. Look, I made a friend. This is my friend. They like sticky buns. Like you, Brock. And this is my friend. They're coming to the picnic that we're going to have because we were heroes. And a tiny sprite is just on Wilby's shoulders. A picnic? I would like slugs. Mm. <laughs> and earwigs. <laughs> Beetles. Earthworms, too, perhaps. Mm. Millipedes. <laughs> I love millipedes. Are you reading Wikipedia right now? I have already memorized and finished the list that you first Google with. What do hedgehogs eat? <laughs> I did I have like to fish. check, but I realized I got them. <laughs> I'll eat all the leftovers. We can get some sweet corn. Sweet corn's really good too. I like sweet corn a lot. Have you got a spare carrot, Ob? Uh, I promised the, uh, my mighty steel that I would get it a carrot this time. As it happens, Leave, I got two, so you can have one. Is anyone going to ask Hurrah! or find out what happened or why it happened? I'm just... This um, is all very wholesome, but there's an adventure to be had! Uh, uh, <laughs> I, no, I, there's I, a picnic to be had. Unbelievable. Yeah. picnic. I would like to... The, the one that is friends with Hop. Mm -hmm. And I just turn to it and be like, So... What did you all come here for? Oh, we're playing charades. You are going to come here to throw things on the floor. 
Wow. I'm Hi. really good at charades. Um, 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 uh. <laughs> An evil wizard told you to. Somebody told you to. Could have been a cleric. Who? Who? Do you, can you tell us who? Um, 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 um. Not allowed? Um, 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 they very clearly point in a direction and are very clearly willing to show you. Oh, you could take us Will there. You take us. <laughs> Lovely. We could eat all our food on the way. Yes. Anyone need a ride? Anyone want to hop on? Hop, hop on, hop. <laughs> um, I'm well, all right. If anyone wants to get on my giant horse, they can. <laughs> it's a small pony. <laughs> <laughs> it's giant for us. <laughs> it is large for all of you. It's a, little, a normal horse size for all of you, Lanchi. I'm going to walk next to my new friend. Are you all heading out of town? Um, yes, but I would like to cast the cantrip Druid Craft to um, create a orb showing what the weather is going to be like for mm-hmm. the next twenty-four hours. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I just what's the going to be like, Chris. For the next twenty-four hours, uh, fierce mild. I predict <laughs> <laughs> the weather shall mainly be mild. Oh, now, can you have that picnic after all of this? Now you do that because you speak common. Unlike the other animals, you are doing this in common. You are a hedgehog somehow managing to get out the sounds of common, yes? Well, I mean, it just says common on my sheet because it's based on a, on a tour. Earlier, <laughs> you said that you could speak in common. Do you say this yeah. in common? Well, uh, if I can speak common, yeah. Great. So all the rest of you struggle with common at the best of times, and yet then the hedgehog turns around and somehow, in perfect common, goes, the weather's going to be mild, as all of you make your way out of town, following where the boggle has pointed, and trying to find out what has led to this fey disaster. As you make your way out of town, the various townsfolk are stepping out of their houses and looking at the carnage and cleaning up a little bit, and one just turns to the other and goes, "Do do you ever think that this might be weird? And that's where we're going to take our break. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, everybody. Lovely stuff. Busy bees. I'm aware there's no bees in this. That is a reference to a poem. It's, um, yeah, I'm very learned. Anyway, we'll (laughs) cack up there. (laughs) We'll cack up there after the break. Uh, See you all in five, ten minutes when we will see who has sent these mysterious fae into the small town and whether our heroes can carry through. Anyway, pick up there in about five, ten. Bye, everybody.
and welcome back. Hello, everyone, to our fun little little adventure with our little animal friends and the little fae friends who are now with you as a party and are statted and will help you out in whatever you are trying to achieve, which is lovely. So, you are heading out of town, not towards the main road, not, not that way, not, not that way, but you are heading on one of the roads that sort of peters out after a while, and it's going into the woods. The, the woods don't surround the entire town, there are quite a lot of sort of bucolic fields, but there are woods to one side of it, and you are slowly making your way into these woods, into the woods, one might say. You have to go into the woods <laughs> if you, you want to grow. Woods. Sorry, it's a very deep. Can I, um, <laughs> can I make a survival check to help us through the woods? Yeah, of course you can. Can I guide Ooh. in Sprock? As long as you tell me how your guidance manifests itself, yes, of course you can. Um, can I it's... condescendingly point out things using the help action as well? <laughs> yes, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's very much like I wave the carrot whilst talking in the direction of Brock, mm. and suddenly you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> The yeah. most detailed description. The up is pointing the carrot. Yes, look there, there. Oh, no, I will... there. <laughs> it, oh, it, the it's very difficult because the carrot is pointing in every direction as I gesticulate whilst continuing <laughs> to talk. So just looking up at the tree going. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is giving me disadvantage. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Rules are as written that you have advantage and guidance. And a, and a d4. Uh, guidance plus four, yeah. No. I'll roll the d4 first. Um. Thank you, advantage. <laughs> oh, it was almost can a match one. Uh, that's a seventeen. Seventeen total. Can you can you stack guidance? No. Okay. You can't be affected by the same spell twice in two different ways. Like if two people okay. cast it, boring rules thing. Um, but yes, you um, <laughs> you are making your way into the woods, and with your survival check, Brock, what are you looking for in particular? What sort of what sort of survival check are you making? Are you looking for a path? Are you looking for tracks? What are you trying to gauge? Uh, essentially, looking for like um, like animal paths to help us move on the way that we're going without running into difficulties or finding a ravine or something, mm -hmm. um, and keeping an eye out in case there's anything in the area because we can assume that there will be something at the end of this mm -hmm. uh, this, mm -hmm. this journey to so try mm -hmm. and get an idea. If there's anything there, it would be wise to know what it was. Sure. As you make your way into the woods, you do note occasionally that there are some patches of this oil. Your boggle companion who is walking with you does still secrete this kind of slippery oil and is sort of like sliding occasionally from foot to foot. <laughs> sliding back and forth. But you do see that this is clearly where they came from. And your compatriot is taking you back this direction. Uh, the sprite on your shoulder, will be is just sort of sat there and just sort of idly watching the world go by and not really doing that much, but is is with you in spirit very much. If I tried to make conversation, would it sort of... Because it, it doesn't talk, talk It doesn't does talk, it? talk. No, but sort of like, it is sort of like nodding and shaking mm -hmm. its head of it. Mm -hmm. So I think I would be sort of like going, uh, do, do, do you have a name? Oh, 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 this is going to be hard. Um, is your name will be oh no that's that's not a good name for you um mm, is your name b mm, well <laughs> <laughs> does this carry on for some time yes roll me a d100 <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oh god, I have to get out now because I was like, oh, I didn't need a D100. Why you didn't I... pack a D100, unbelievable. I've got one, I just didn't take it out of the case. Fine. Fine. Bring a D100 on this adventure. It's like you brought a D100 <laughs> to a D20 party. Am I right? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a 90. Oh, it's not a 100 though. Um, you no. guess a lot of names, <laughs> but you don't guess the sprite's name. Every name you, every name you give gets sort of a Mm. Oh, okay. I'm not a quitter. I will keep working on it. So let's really have some time. And I think I would like, I'm talking too much and that's distracting me. I'm going to stop talking, but not because I'm not enjoying this conversation. I just need time to think. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> that is happening. Can you just hear like, it's not will be. <laughs> <laughs> what if I guess will be? No, I guess that already. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good name for me, but it's not a good name for whatever he is. <laughs> 
every yes. so often I like hang back just to let enough oil build up. Mm. Then I like take a little run and, and like slide. Yeah, that's fine. You do. Um, I try not to bump into the boggle. Oh, you and the boggle are having a wonderful time. The boggle, when you slide, the boggle slides too. And you have a sort of... <laughs> you <laughs> having a lot of fun bouncing back and forth. It's very enjoyable. Uh, How do I smell? Any mushrooms or truffles or anything like that? Roll me a survival check. <laughs> I promise there's an adventure coming. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just really wanted to know. No, it's fine. <laughs> uh, eh, it's an 11. Um, you smell, I mean, the wood is starting to smell more dank. Ooh, and I think I all remember. five of you realize that you are going deeper into the woods than you've ever gone before. I cast dust. <sighs> Just, to Just what, for make... the dramatic effect? <laughs> <laughs> Just like, something on the breeze. <laughs> Did you just want to make your spines billow ominously, Leaf? <laughs> Gusts of wind follow great druids wherever they may roam. Well, they Where do if you cast them. Wait, that was you. Oh <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> great druids can cast magic spells. That's very true. <laughs> 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 so not go, yes, it is true, yes. The sprite quietly face palms them good, right? <laughs> um, you as you this wood is getting darker, it's also getting noticeably more creepy. Yeah. Spooky almost. The branches hanging above you have a strange quality to them, almost like their hands reaching down to grasp at you. I don't like it. I don't know how many spells that make light happen. Um, <laughs> I could make it be less dirty, though. Oh, do that. <laughs> I will start prestidigitating it so it looks <laughs> Clean less trees. creepy. I mean, person says it's still a, it's still a creepy tree. Now it's just a slightly cleaner creepy what tree. Is, can I not like? Can I, I, can, not like I can make it a, a funner colour. I'll make it like a sort of... Um, you make patches of things hot pink. No, I want to make it that, um, you know, that really nice green, like the bright green, like the bright yellowy green. There's a word for it that I can't remember. Chartreuse. Oh. All you the make... trees are now chartreuse. Well, I mean... You, As you, we pass, you, you one affect, tree chartreuse. You affect one a five foot chartreuse. square, so you're affecting parts of trees. Yes, but we're very small, so we only need the bits that we can see. <laughs> it's like a yes. chartreuse row of like mm. lower level branches I, that I, fade I out after a minute. <laughs> 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 Oh, the fun. yellow tree road. Pop, Pop thinks this is the best thing that's ever happened. How long does it last for? Um, until I do the next one. Okay. Oh no, you can have three things at once. <laughs> a row of three! Just b -b 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 like landing Ooh. lights almost. Very strange. Just for an hour. I I'm also doing druid craft, which affects a five foot cube. What are you doing? <laughs> to like. <laughs> nice stuff. Little tinkling noises. <laughs> Gusts of wind. <laughs> I'll just a stop. Weather all. <laughs> Still <Stop>. mild. <laughs> Start whistling a merry tune. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I start playing along to the merry tune on the loop? Yep. <laughs> You're piercing this creepiness of this space with all of your antics, and, um. Like, trees can't be annoyed. So it just. <laughs> but the DM can. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a glowing orb of light seems to float between some trees ahead of you. Hold. I would like to stealth. I've run ahead in all of the time that it took for Leaf to say hold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as you run ahead towards where the glowing orb is, it passes behind a tree and it's gone. Oh, there's nothing there. It's gone. You see another one about 60 feet ahead going between two trees. I stop because I don't want to be that far ahead of everybody else. <laughs> there's another one up ahead. I would like to stealth. 
Roll me a stealth check. That's fine. <laughs> That's, uh, Do I know they're Willow, Willow the Wisps? Willow, 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 Willow Wisps? Uh, that's a 14. No. It's not Can a Willow the Wisps. Wi oh, I definitely say it's a Willow the Wisps. Let's hear it. It's a Willow, a willow of the Wisps. <laughs> What's the Willow the Wisp? And where is Brock gone? Where's Hop gone? Where's Hop's voice coming from? Well, no, I'm right here. Where's Brock no, gone? Hop, where's <laughs> Brock? Brock? Oh, this has all gone wrong so quickly. <laughs> Furby, when did you join us? Oh. Brock, I... what was your stealth uh, roll? 14. Uh, 14. It was a, four, a 14. With my intelligence, I now believe I have become the knight. Okay. <laughs> did, well, did, did the Willow the Wisp take him? Because that would be terrible. Bad. Bad. Can I turn to Hop's friend and yeah. just say, um, do you know what these are? <clears throat> they, they, they're to do with the person <clears throat> that told you to be. Oh, what, what's this mean? I, I can't <clears throat> do it because I've got trotters. What's this mean? Claws. <laughs> Nasty. Is it <clears throat> scare? Is it going to hurt us? <clears throat> Is it a Eurasian eagle owl, famed predator of hedgehogs? <laughs> 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 Why didn't you call your character Wikipedia? <laughs> this is actually a nickname. <laughs> should we? Should we all? Should we all? Be, should we all? Should we all be quiet? <laughs> should, should we all take? I think Brock's got the right idea. I think we should all stealth. We should all disappear. I yes. can be quiet, maybe. I, I think my stealth roll is going to be bad. Yeah. <laughs> Can I roll stealth at disadvantage because hop is hop? Yeah. If you want to give yourself disadvantage, I'm not going to stop you. Brock, Brock is just repeatedly saying inside his own head, I am the knight, I am the knight, I am the knight. <laughs> I got a 17. Mm -hmm. I will guidance myself first there. So. How did you get a 17? <laughs> I rolled a 19 and it's a minus oh, two. That's impressive. Okay. <laughs> I got a nine. I'm not bad at stealth. Mm -hmm. Will be. Shallow facts. Hide us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the point. As a, as a halfling, I can hide behind... Well, uh, well as a halfling. Okay, yeah. Halfling. <laughs> I can hide behind things that are bigger than me. Yep. So naturally stealthy. And it's sort of like just... Uh, I rolled a 14. But... Okay, so you're, you're also hiding. Yeah. yeah. Um, Leaf, are you actually rolling a stealth check or are you... I'm speaking with my speak to animals to Shallow Facts, and I'd like this pun appreciated because Shadow Facts, of course, was Gandalf's horse, but yep. this is a miniature Shetland pony, so yep. Shallow Facts is a very funny pun. <laughs> shallow Facts! <laughs> because, of course, the I pun just... gets funnier when you have to explain it. So Let me explain why that was good. <laughs> Your Eurasian owl had me in absolute stitches, and that um, did not, just to give you the line. <laughs> okay, do you want your horse to give you assistance? Uh, can it? Yeah, we'll start with advantage. Really? Of course it can. <laughs> I thought it would be like disadvantage. No, best. no, no. And a creature can give another creature advantage on a check. I mean, okay, well, that's I love good because I do have minus one to still. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen, lucky for some. Twelve. Okay. okay twelve. So all of you. How are... has the pig been better at stealth than basically everyone else? Well, you tell me. <laughs> how has the? Uh, yeah. I rolled with disadvantage. Mm. How has the pig been better at stealth than everyone else? What are you doing? I I think Oink just drops to the floor. Tom Cruise is and in. then <laughs> yeah, just and then rolls about in the mud a bit, mm -hmm. and then when he gets up, he's like. The pink colour is, is covered in, in mud, so he's, oh. he's like basically camouflaged. Very clever, very good, very good, very good. So yes, all of you are stealthing, some better than others, but you're all sort of... <gasps> Through the trees, you hear a voice in common go... Oh, there's someone there, we should help, we should go! We don't know what else is up there. But there's someone who needs help, we should go! We help things! Yeah, but, but slowly and carefully. Have we established we don't speak common, but we do understand it? Correct. Apart so from Leaf, who speaks common. Yeah. 
when speaking about the weather. (laughs) (laughs) Does it sound like somebody from the village, or does it sound like a stranger? You've never heard this voice before. If it's not somebody from the village, um, it might be the person who sent the the fear who were messing with the buns in in the bakery and and the carrots and all of that. (gasps) Then I, I don't know. I don't know if if they they want the help or if we might need the help. I mean, maybe they're just not able to speak with the big words like me. The boggle does look around all of you and just like, brr, brr, brr. Brock, Brock, Brock. As the oldest and wisest hedgehog that anyone here has surely ever known, I can guarantee that this is one of two situations. Und, a trap. Spy, they want help with the weather. <laughs> it's going to be mainly mild. Do you now, think if that you... settles it, we're okay? <laughs> so, so you're saying you, that we should spy on them? As you shout out, the weather's going to be fierce, mild, going to be mainly oh mild. Um, <laughs> the voice sorry. from up ahead goes, um. Hell. <laughs> Does that Can mean I... it was the first one then? Sure. If if if, if Oink is going, I'm going to follow Oink. Okay. Are um, you all uh, following Oink if Oink sneaks over? And I and I just want to peer out from behind something to see what is what what's happening. Um, mm-hmm. Which means that there's a stack of heads. Yep, stack of heads. <laughs> yeah. pig, pig just commando crawling. I love that. Uh, in a small glade ahead of you, as all of you put your heads out the side of the tree, there is a humanoid figure sat on a stump. Uh, they appear to be um, dressed in particularly sort of nondescript clothing. Uh, they're facing away from you. And uh, they're just, you can see the head moving, looking around, and you do hear them right plaintively say, Help me. Can again. I look at them and see if they actually need any help? Can I do a, like a medicine check? Sure. Would I be losing myself if I go against myself? Yes. Oh, I've got a 19. 19. Uh, this figure appears to be holding their leg, and it looks like the leg might be broken. Oh. Their leg does look quite badly broken. It's very hard talking quietly. <laughs> if, if they definitely do need help, then we should help. It just um, seems strange, no? Why, if one's leg is broken, would you be asking about the weather? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they were asking about the weather, Lee. <laughs> and why not? <laughs> previous horse friend hurt its leg then it stopped being around anymore so maybe that will happen to the human I don't want that to happen (laughs) you'll upset shallow facts (laughs) the fifth (laughs) I just look up and go oh they shoot horses don't they (laughs) (laughs) oh my god is there a glue merchant in town (laughs) Your lucky Shallowfax doesn't speak otter. <laughs> I thought we agreed not to talk about what they do with the horses. Shallowfax doesn't Orton. speak to Shallowfax, don't worry. <laughs> Shallowfax is looking around all of you, looks a bit confused, looks back at you, Leaf, and goes, What are they talking about? Oh, they're talking <laughs> about carrots, Shallowfax. Oh, Delicious good. Delicious carrots. I like carrots. Are there going to be more carrots? Yes. <laughs> Roll a deception get... check. You don't know. <laughs> I've just been nodding this entire time. Not quite sure what's happening, but that's advantage. Like, yes. yes. <laughs> oh, there's going to be more carrots, but maybe not for you. Oh God, I'm pleased it was with advantage. That's eighteen. Yeah. Nineteen. I saw the first roll. Um, yeah. yeah, that was not good. Um, yeah. Um, Shellfish is. Oh. Oh, good. <laughs> Hello the fi- there. <laughs> uh, the figure turns around, and it's just a young man. Hello. Are you from the village? Do we recognise them from the village? No. Wait, is it normal for humans to be able to talk to us? No. Uh-huh. 
I'm not clever enough to realize that is odd. <laughs> um, we, we've friends. heard them that screaming would, help this whole time. So. That would, that, could, could that come under wisdom as well, though? Like, that there's something Ooh. wrong? I think you could roll an intelligence check for this, if you like. Sure. Could I roll an insight yeah. check? Mm, okay, I'll allow an insight check on this situation. Can I guidance myself, seen as we're, we're out of stealth anyway? <laughs> if you're not anyway. trying to be stealthy, then of course you can. <laughs> you deserve that. <laughs> I'm going to lawyer my way into this role of a nat one. <laughs> I got a one on the guidance dice as well. So, yeah. um. All seems legit. Um, we don't recognize you from the village. The village? Is there a village nearby? Well, depends who's asking. Um... How can we... You said you needed help? My leg's broken. I, I need assistance. I can see that. Where do you live? I'm a traveller. I've come from a very long way away. Are they telling the truth? Um, roll me an insight check. Can I guidance oink? Yeah, of course you can. Roll with a d4. Um, oh, I think I will need that d4. Hold on. Uh, insight... And mm -hmm. oh, um, as a fourteen, they appear to be telling the truth. Can I, can I start looking in my spell pouchy pouch focusy pouchy things? Yeah. And I, I get one of the acorns and I go mm, perfect, and I throw it at his head. <laughs> Ow! What are you? I was seeing if you were an illusion. <laughs> I'm not an illusion. Ow! Well, an illusion Please. would say that. That Please, really that hurt. wasn't very nice, was it? Now Listen. you're the one who's being rude. No, I told my friend here that we weren't rude, and you did that. The sprite is looking at Leaf, just like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're both <laughs> a young human male. He's inevitably already part of the patriarchy. Soon he'll be part of the establishment. Then the status <laughs> quo. It's a slippery well. slope. We do hate the patriarchy, that is true. <laughs> yes, we do, children. Do you, young person, hate the patriarchy? <laughs> and again, very intense eyes for where we're going to do you. Um, I'll be honest, I've never thought about it in any great detail. Well, think about well, it now! part of the problem. <laughs> well, this is your first step to improvement. Now you realise there's a problem, you can help fix it. How did you break your leg? Oh, I was running and I fell. What were you running from? I don't know. Something horrible in the woods. There were flashing lights guiding me through here. And then suddenly there was being... I heard noises from behind me and I ran. You didn't stop to look at what the noises were? It was horrible and growling and slavering and really unpleasant. How do you know that growling is necessarily a bad thing? It sounded like Will it wanted... growls sometimes. Rock growls yeah. sometimes. I stomach Even growls Even hot growls sometimes when push comes to shove. Um, oh, we we, sometimes we also agreed growls. never to talk about the growling. <laughs> Apologies, Hop. No, it wasn't... No, it was Forgive me. It wasn't growling like your friends or you were growling now. Something large and dangerous and definitely untoward. But you didn't think to look at what it was, so how can we know I that it's scared. large and dangerous? I was scared. It was chasing me and making you horrible noises. You were scared noises. of an unknown entity. Yes. And then you just stayed here. My leg's broken. I fell over. Excuse me, Mr. Man, what is your name? Terence. Turn to the sprite. Is your name Terence? <laughs> no, Terence is not so, a good name for you. You do <laughs> both note that the sprite and the boggle are both looking at the figure and looking at all of you with a kind of, um, 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 um. Is this the one who sent you? Um, can somebody in Twitch please clip that immediately? <laughs> so, Ter Terence. Yes. Oh, um, uh, uh, you can understand us. Are you also a badger in disguise? No, I have access to some powerful magic, though, and it does let me understand you. But you can't heal your own leg? No, that's not something I know how to do. I'm going to cast Enhanceability 
Yep. On myself. <coughs> so give myself advantage on wisdom checks. You cannot make another insight check. Why no, not? no. You've already made one. This person seems legit to you. You wouldn't think to make another. Well, I'll cast it on Brock then. Why? Because <laughs> it seems suspicious. Okay, that's uh, fine. Brock was going to make a wisdom check, but it wasn't going to be insight. What was it going to be? I'd like to make a medicine check to see if I can make a splint out of twigs from sure. a broken leg. Go for it. I was also thinking that, so can I help? Of you course you can. Yeah. I mean, you haven't done this anyway, because we're casting mm-hmm. hands ability, so. Can I, can I help you with your um, with your leg? I can I can maybe tie some twigs together and, and then you'll be able to stand and walk and stuff. You're very kind and very clever. I wouldn't have thought of that. I'm not as clever as, as Leaf. Leaf Use is the wisest stick, hedgehog. Bro. And who's the weather? the other stick. You know the other stick. That's oh. a splint stick right there. <laughs> and th- thank you for helping me see where the leg was hot. I wouldn't have been able to do that without your guidance because I get confused about body parts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, after the incident with the streaker, I did think it was best to, um, you know, just make sure. <laughs> that was a very... Um, uh, I learned a lot from that streaker experience that I did not previously know or we want to know. We all learned a lot from that experience. That, that is a 17 on the, the, the medicine thing. Yep, you um, go up and start making all of the pieces you would need for a splint. Do you step closer to Terence? Uh, well, in order to do the splint, I would have to. Mm-hmm. I'm not being given any reason not to by anybody else. Oh. Uh, I was going to take aside Hop's friend while this was happening, and there mm-hmm. was a distraction. But mm-hmm. um, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm under the impression that something else might happen. Please do. <laughs> um, okay. Um, so this person is not the person that sent you to wreck havoc on the village, is it? <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Uh, the the thing they described chasing them, you think that's the person that sent you to wreak havoc on the village? No. no. no? no. Do you know the person that sent you to wreak havoc on the no. village? No. 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 And it's not this person. <laughs> this person can turn into something else. Uh, Leaf just said something very clever. As a squid. Leaf said something really stupid. Okay. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Can Leaf hear this conversation? (laughs) (laughs) It just came over and it's an octopus. (laughs) (laughs) Sticking to my horse. And I can summon an octopus. Um, (laughs) Can I I ask a question, Chris? Of course. Do they smell right? As you move up close to them, and we'll do this all in one go because it's easier. As you move up closer to them, you realize something is off. Because you are a badger and you have a strong sense of smell. And as you step forward, this humanoid doesn't smell like a human. The sort of dank fetidness of the um, this sort of strangeness to the area around you seems to coalesce around them in a way that you don't quite understand. And as you step closer to this figure, holding the twigs for your splint, they are going to reach out and just touch you on the head with a single finger. Finger it there. And as they do, you are no longer awakened. You are just a regular badger. Bringing up badger stats. <laughs> no, 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 you still have the same stat block. That's fine. Oh, okay. Nothing about your stat block changes. But you are no longer an awakened creature. Mm. You can't speak, can't engage in the same way. You are suddenly just a badger. I encourage you to. from my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I encourage you to perform natural instincts in the context here. And as the figure touches Brock, who sort of collapses down to all fours and just. <sighs> hands on the ground, they look up at all of you, smile, cackle, and vanish. What would you all like to do? No! 
Dad! Dad! Brock, did you... What, what did you do, Brock? Can Brock understand us? You don't know? Um, can I... Uh, right. He's Brock, still nod ex- your head if you can understand me. He's still got extra wisdom. <laughs> Just for reference. <laughs> He's still a very wise badger. <laughs> uh, Brock, nod your head if you can understand me. I will, I will look at you because noise is coming from your direction. Okay. Oh my god. Hang on. In which case, in which case, can I please. Uh, I've got speech of beast and leaf. Yes, you do. So can I try again in my best facsimile of badger language? Please do. Brock, can you understand me now? This is not where I live. Why am I here? Well, do you not remember walking over here to look for the person that was ruining the village? How can you talk to me? Oh, I've been talking to you for a long time now, Brock. I'm sorry you don't remember. Um, it's okay. We'll get you back home, I guess. Do you know to your um, set? To my set. Hmm. Yes. Are there lots of bugs and things to eat? I'd just like to point out at this point that in the UK, the badger is the hedgehog's main natural predator. (laughs) (laughs) Have I noticed there's a hedgehog? That's the question. There's a hedgehog on the back of this big animal. Am I hungry? (laughs) Sure. I'm... uh, Right. So now, Dave, Dave, I'm well aware that Toby killed your character in the home game last night. Please don't let that influence your decision. <laughs> when you, it. you you said mm-hmm. act instinctively. Correct. Toby, I didn't even know this, but Wikipedia has just said <laughs> that the hedgehog is a predator. Uh, I, I'm perfectly happy for anyone to stop me from doing this. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, oh, Oink is definitely going to try. If Oink can sense that you're going to maybe go for Leaf. Hedgehog. Hedgehog lunch. Right. <laughs> oh, so Oink uh, is going to just just very, very calmly and very firmly say, this hedgehog is not for lunch. Oh, why not? Roll a persuasion check. Do I still have any That's of my... That's a 22. Uh, yep. <laughs> do I still have any of my abilities, or am I just a uh, base stat lock? You still have your abilities, but I don't think you know what they are or I how to use them necessarily. I not know how to use them, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, come to it. we'll come to it if we come to it. It's fine. Cool. That's fine. I'm just making sure that I, I play it right. Yeah, it's fine. No, I will not eat the hedgehog. But Thank if, you. If I, come, I really appreciate it. If I come with you, you will take me back to my home. Yes. Uh, Chris, mm-hmm. do we know... The, I'm assuming the druid that awakened us, mm-hmm. we can't access. No. Do we know of anything we can do to bring Brock back? What is your intelligence score? An 11. Brought me an arcana check. Oh, Christ. <laughs> uh, I will guidance. I mean, I don't know what you're doing, but I'll guidance you anyway. Okay. What does that give me, a d4? Yeah. It's an art 20! That's a 25. Boink, you are a very, you have a very smart brainwave. (laughs) Surely what has happened to all of you has lasted for a very, very long time. So if there is something that's stopping it, is the stopping it going to last for a very, very long time? So I'm trying to put this in 11 intelligence terms. Um, Not necessarily. This could be something that is short term, or it could be something that could be switched around. Probably the person who did it is the person who's going to be able to help you with this most. But we don't know where they've gone. You do not. Right, so Speaking of, of which... Party. Oh, shit. <laughs> Terence is going to appear behind Wilby. And it's going to reach what? out a hand. Can I chill touch? Can I chill touch them? 
I will say <laughs> that we can all do an initiative roll off to see what happens because they have appeared and they can appear and then do something, but I'm not going to mm-hmm. make force surprise round to un- awaken all of you. That would be <laughs> cruel. So let's all roll initiative and see what happens, please. Okay, thank you. I'm also rolling for the boggle in the sprites. Oh, for God's <laughs> sake, that was bad. Mine was bad as well. Uh, Dave, please roll initiative as well, please. Yep. What we all got? Shout them out. Seven. Seven for hop. Nine. Nine for oink. Ten. Ten. Oh no. Ten hey, for that's Will. That's good for me. Oh, ten for Lee. Sorry. Nineteen for Willby. There it is. <laughs> The fates. <laughs> the fates have decreed it so. Brock? Uh, six. Six. Very good, very good. I'm so mad. The first person to act is the sprite on your shoulder, Will oh. Who is going to turn around, go... <laughs> and is going to... Oh, bless fly up towards the creature standing with Terence, fly up towards Terence, and is going to pull out a tiny longsword, and is going to try and hit Terence with it. No, don't be a hero! (laughs) It's a plus two to hit. That is a ten. That was not hit. Just... (laughs) Flies into Terence's face, just bounces off Terence's face, just... Starts falling towards the ground. Um, Will be. It is your turn next. What would you like to do? I mean, sort of. He, he's literally just next to me, standing right over you, just with a hand reaching out towards yeah. you. Okay, I, I think I'd like to disengage. <laughs> is that, okay. Is that okay. Yeah, of course it is. Because I think just again from my animal instinct of just going. I don't know what that is. It scares me, so I'm going to try and. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Keep. And again, because I'm quite manoeuvrable, just mm-hmm. keep trying to move out of the way. You move out of the way. Do you, you're, like, you're all in a cluster, in a, in a clump yeah. right now, I'm going to say. So you can step around people if you want to. Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, sort of, we're all of a similar size, right? Basically, yes. Leaf is yeah. significantly smaller. Because mm. again, But on the back of a pony, so you know. <laughs> I could just go under the pony. Go under the pony? Um, you can go uh, under the pony. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's the halfling nimbleness. <laughs> so, Actually, could I, I could go, be... it, it, Terence is much bigger than me, right? Terence is much bigger than you, yes. Yeah. So can I go like through his legs and out the other side? Sure you can. You just yeah. yeet, you yeah. run out and go running yeah. away and disengage. So no yeah. attacks of opportunity, which is good. Right. Um, but you are behind Terence and everyone else is in front of Terence and you've sort of disengaged. That's your action, yeah. bonus actions. Um, I can actually use... Hmm. Because my weapon fight, um, because the fighter, I can use the bonus action to attack, right? Only if you attack with your action. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see if there's anything <laughs> I can do. <laughs> oh no, there's not. <laughs> um, and again, I can't prepare an attack because that would be an no, action. No, it's an action to prepare an attack. Yes. Right. Disengaging takes an action unless you're mm. a rogue uh, or a goblin. I am just now looking at. Um, Do you have anything uh, else oh, to spend? Oh, Ooh. I can. I've got. Um, no, that, I'm going to do it. Uh, so I do have a base of footwork. So that would, uh, mm-hmm. as I'm moving, that would add to my AC. It stops. So that... it, it stops when you stop moving. What that's for is exactly this. You could increase your AC while running away from someone to lessen mm. your chance of an attack of opportunity. But then once I you won't stop do moving, that. yeah, that's... I will move to the other side of him. He'll turn around, and then I'll become a silly little otter. So it goes. <laughs> But you've moved sort of, you want to, You can move, if you want to, you can move a long way away. You can move 30 feet, you can move 35 feet, so you could step quite a way away if you wanted to. Yes, I, th- I think, mm-hmm. you know, sort of, you scamper. I'm, freak- I'm freaking out, yes, you know. Go, yeah. through, go through those legs and run away. That's perfectly yeah. fine. Uh, Terence is going to watch Wilby go, look back at all of you. Hmm. 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 Terrence is going to turn invisible again and vanish. Okay. Are we still in initiative order? Yes, you are. Okay. The, um, (laughs) your boggled friend Hop has just 
like shuffled behind you. It's like a really quite scared and worried and uh, doesn't take any actions. Leaf. Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so that's My you. real name is Wikipedia. Leaf is just the nickname. <laughs> um, uh, so I, I wanted to cast Dispel Magic, but I can't because they're invisible now. Right. Uh, what read out to spell magic? Choose one creature, object, or magical effect within range. What's the range? 120 feet. So I don't know if. I, yeah, I mean, it doesn't say that you can see, but. It doesn't yeah. say that you can see. That's normally a very specific encodement of. Can you dispel the invisibility around Terence? Presumably that's mm, it. Pre I'm... Precisely so that you can dispel invisibility, because otherwise you would never be able to dispel invisibility because you can't see it. And you know something invisible is somewhere nearby, but you don't know what it is. I think that's a very clever use of the spell. I'm going to rule that you can use that, Leaf. Sure. Tell me how you want to use it and tell me how you do it over this wide area. Yeah, I say, I look up and I say, I see a mild overcasting of clouds and a spattering of abjuration. <laughs> you shall not cast! It's <laughs> 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 a, a flutter of leaves shoot out with some wind. Um, you Black look around crazy. this glade and about 25 feet away from all of you, just like in mid-walk, you see Terence suddenly... Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear indeed! <laughs> standing very visibly, very close to all of you. Oi, I would you... like to, with my bonus action... Yeah, sorry, babe. ...use something which I basically got, because I thought we were going to be playing, um, uh, you know, a cherub like setting up matchmakers with villagers <laughs> and i thought stars are romantic so i'm going to use my bonus action to use improved uh wild shape starry form archer and then fire a magic bolt of star energy at their face Ooh. turning using your wild shape is your bonus action isn't it uh, i think it's on the same turn are you sh and Mm, That's really I good. Think. No, I'm, I'm going to Google it. I'm not going to say no. I'm, I'm fascinated. As a bonus action, you can spend a use of your wild shape feature to turn on a starry form. <laughs> on activation and as a bonus action, you can uh -huh. make a... Yeah, do it. Make a ranged spell attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does your starry yeah, beam look like? So, what does your uh... starry form look like? Sorry, there's loads of elements <laughs> oh, yeah. here. First off, I just suddenly turn into like the night sky with stars and Specifically, the uh, archer thingy. Um, so you're a hedgehog covered in stars. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like, <laughs> I, I told you all, I'm a mighty druid. <laughs> and then uh, it's just like, Phew. I tell you what, it's like a sort of uh, Powerpuff Girls, like sparkly <laughs> star shoots out. Or <laughs> like Lovely. hair bears. Hair bears okay. Hair What's hair the attack bears. roll? How does it work? Uh, it's a the ranged spell attack. Ranged spell attack. Do it. And then it's a D8 plus four if I hit so. In fact, what I'm going to say as you have, um, as Terence is now visible, noticeably, Terence is now visible. Terence looks exactly the same, only Terence's skin is an acid green. Mm. Mm. Well, as long as they're not a mongoose, because they are also a natural predator of hedgehogs. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a nineteen. Yeah, with, that hits. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you um, and the start, the, the sort of Care Bear Powerpuff <laughs> <laughs> impact. The power of friendship. Yes. That is a D. Uh, sorry about the D eight plus four. So that is. <gasps> Six damage. Six a damage. Starry happiness. Terence just, oh, uh, oh, indeed. Looks <laughs> <laughs> confused. Has no idea what you've just done. Hop. Oh, he's twenty-five feet away from everybody. He is. 
Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm looking at my bits off. Yes. Um, I yes. will. I will. Um, quicken a fireball. <laughs> just to hit them. Can I? Yeah, of course, go. They need to make a deck saving throw. Uh, go on, hop, take down the patriarchy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not bad. That is, uh, oh dear. That is bad. It's an 11. No. Okay. Seven. I didn't have enough d6s for this because I don't roll d6s, I roll d8s. <laughs> Said Emma, about to make a wizard in a game. <laughs> it's not a wizard, it's an artificer. That's not bad, actually. 13, 16, 19, 21, 22 points of damage on the fireball. I will then use my bonus action. Uh, that was your bonus action because you quickened it. Yes, sorry. I will then use my action to chill touch them. <laughs> so how do you throw a fireball? Because you're a rabbit. You hurt Brock! I will throw the carrot at them, <laughs> and where the carrot lands, <laughs> the fireball explodes. <laughs> and then another spectacular appears and just bonks Terence on the Correct. head as well. Wow. Yeah. No okay. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I've rolled a 27. Yeah, that hits Terence as well. <laughs> Uh, that is another seven points of damage. Yep, Terrence just... Oh, um, uh, um, rock. Rabbit is glaring madly. <laughs> you say me? Yes, Brock. You. Uh, I would say there's a free action to oink. I see why that hedgehog is not food. <laughs> <laughs> Made of stars. He's a friend. Uh, They're awful. a friend, not food. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I, I trust you. Um, I think instinctively, I mean, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm a badger and not a honey badger, right? You're currently a badger, not a honey badger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, in which case... You can rage if you want to, if you're angry. Uh, would, I, would, I, would I see myself as being threatened? I think you see people who you've told are friends being threatened, yes. Okay. Well, if friends are being threatened, then the chances are I will be threatened, and that is that is that is... Cool. I'm, I'm I fan. read up on this over the break to make sure I fully understand it. Uh, you can use a bonus attack. You can use a bonus action to attack with your claws twice. That is correct. But when you enter your turn on a rage, that is your bonus action to enter your rage. You can have two attacks on the first round. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I looked it up. I was like, four attacks a round? Surely not. Okay, uh, sure. In which case, I will rage. Yep. And you still get them, uh, you still get two attacks because you have multi attacks, so you run an attack twice. Yes. So extra attack. Multi attack is animals. You have extra attack. Shooty coo. Mm-hmm. That is a twenty-seven on the first one. Uh, yes. Yeah. And uh, uh, two nineteens on the dice. That's a twenty-seven again. Oh my again. god! You are rolling so well, and I'm oh, watching no. it happen before my very eyes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> cool. Good. Could have done with this yesterday. Yeah. Uh, that's a uh, eight plus two, so that's ten. Mm -hmm. And then that's uh, uh, so eighteen altogether. Eighteen altogether. Terrence is ah as a badger just runs up and just ah starts clawing at legs and thighs, just clawing away. At end. Uh, will be. Are you? You sure you've 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 run away? Are you crouching behind something? Um, again, is is there like a log or anything for me sure. just to sort of skirt behind? Sure. I sort of again sort of stick my head out and then just go. Mm. Um, you feel a little sort of weight on your shoulder, and your little sprite friend has appeared next to you, mm. still holding the sword, just mm, looking like they want to help. But... So sort of, sort of look back to them and go, "Shall we do this?" Are we back to the top of the round? Yeah. Can I have a go, please? No. Did I miss you? <laughs> yes. Oh, shit, I missed you. I'm so sorry. You went before Hop. My bad. Um, go on. Sorry. Um, I want to shout at Terence and just say, why did you do that? Give us our friend back now. Oh, interesting. Are you rolling persuasion? 
do I do I get a sense of whether persuasion or intimidation would work better? You are welcome to use either. Uh, I think I'm going to use persuasion because it's better for me. Go for it. <laughs> um, that is a twenty-two. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, fine. Sorry. Terrence is going to pick themselves up a little bit and um, can can you ask the badger to stop savaging me while I like. This isn't easy. Brock, Brock, um, I've I've spoken to them and they're gonna help you to get home. So just pause for a second, and then if they fail, you can ravage them again. Okay. There is a a sense of a barely contained furry ball of rage, <laughs> <laughs> poised, poised very much to strike. Terence is going to reach down to you, Brock, and is going to touch you again. And you are, again, Brock. The Awakening comes back in, and you you have memories of that whole period as well. It's not like you lost time. You're all right, Brock. Just, uh, are we still in combat? Doesn't sound like it, no. but, you know. Why? This is to Terence. Yeah, why did you do that? I'm sorry. It was I'm... really rude. <laughs> I'm trying to help my mum out. I'm I'm sorry. Who's your mum? Um, my mum's um Ashlane. Who's she, that? Well, she she's she's a hag. She she wants to to she wanted oh, to. Oh well, disrespectful to your mother. <laughs> no, Everyone has a mother. Respect your mother. That's, what, that's, that's species. Well, I didn't it's have my a species mother. too. I was brought up in a box of leaves. Thank you very much. Maybe the box of leaves was your mother. I don't know how these things work. Magic's very Not confusing. Like I'm pretty sure. So, wait, 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 wait. Why did your mum want Brock to not be Brock anymore? Mum didn't want Brock not to be Brock anymore. Mum wants to... Mum wanted to sort... Mum, mum wanted to make a mess of the town. Still does. She, she likes having places. I don't know. I just do what I'm told. Well, ask her and then come back here and tell us. Um... Okay, I mean... We Let demand the reason. take us with you. We could ask her. Okay. What if she... No, no, no. No, no. We saw what he just did to Brock. What if she tried to do that to the rest of us? She can... Then she'll get a carrot fireball from Hob too. <laughs> if she does, I'll bite her fingers off. And that. Wow. Brock, what do you think? You're the only one that's experienced it so far. I think if we can sort this out without further... I'm just staring at Terence. Aggression. Then that would be the best way to proceed. I'm genuinely sorry. Like, I was just doing what I was told. I was trying to help. She knew that the village would be hard to deal with because of you lot. and We worked out the best way of dealing with you was to, you know, dispel the magic. It's not very nice. I'm sorry. I right, well... Do what I'm told. Well, we need very your... nice. So you should be nice to us. We I mean, need your assurances that if we go and speak to your mum, that she's not going to do what she did to Brock to everybody. I don't know what she'll do. I mean, if I... Look, you all seem really nice, and I understand, right, but... I'm just doing what I'm told. Yeah, but we need to protect this village. We need to talk to your mum to find out what she's doing and why. And we need to do it without... The oink is really angry. <laughs> the odd snort is coming out. And there's just like every so often. Um, uh, yeah. Uh. When I was little, and I grew up with lots of brothers and sisters, you see, and then I had to move out on my own and get away from my parents because I didn't want to do what they wanted me to do, which was, you know, to have more rabbits. And I just, you know, had to get away. And sometimes you can't do what your parents want you to do. You have to go somewhere else. Do your own thing and be your own person. Terence, be your own person. Roll persuasion check. My mum was a cardboard box. 
<laughs> I knew it! I said it! With advantage. <laughs> Thank you, Toby. <laughs> I mean, humans skinned and killed my family, but I don't hold it against them. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, 20, 26. I'm an otter orphan! <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry that happened to you. <laughs> Thank you, Brock. <laughs> I kind of get some, nice. some nuzzle against you. I'm glad you're back. Neck piece now, or...? What? Um, <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> um, I rolled a 26. Um... <laughs> look, this isn't the first village that we've done this to. Like... <sighs> we just go around, like... Making their lives difficult, and then my mum makes a deal with them for souls, and... <gasps> yeah, it's just what we do. It's how we work. Not to our village, you don't. Why don't... Where's your mother, Why boy? don't you, instead of, instead of doing that, instead of doing that, Terence, I have a, I've, had, I've, got, I've, I've, I've had a brainwave. Uh-huh. Why don't you stay here, like us, and help look after this village, instead of being horrible like your mother, be nice. Um, be nice. I will stomp my foot. <laughs> be nice. I mean, I could try to be nice. Sure, I, I could. I don't. I, Hop doesn't quite know how to de-escalate <laughs> from that. Like, and then you can come to our picnic for friends, because you would be our friend. What What food have you got at your picnic? Well, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. Leaf is very excited about a range of exciting slugs. Slugs, yes. yes. Carrots. Carrots. Um, Brock I, I will... likes honey buns, don't you, Brock? I love honey buns. <laughs> <laughs> they are the best. And are you still be... raging? <laughs> Um, I haven't dismissed it yet. Um, uh, you haven't been attacked in six seconds. I think it's gone. <laughs> oh, it's gone then. <laughs> and, uh, it's just mid, mid sentence. I love honey buns. They are the best. <laughs> and we could, we be... could settle this over a picnic. Yeah, there will be fish, and and Oink will find some um, truffles, and we can do stuff with that, and it will be lovely. That does sound really nice. But we need to make rubbish. sure. But sure that your mum doesn't come and try and cause mischief in the village. Okay. Um, well, we need your help with that. Alright. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll... Maybe stealing people's souls isn't very nice. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Brock, I'm sure it didn't feel very nice for you, did it? It was not what I would call a pleasant time. I'm really oh, sorry. Brock. I'm sorry, Brock. Can I go and give Brock a hug? Of course you can. Like go and give Brock a hug. Join, and I, join I in on the hug. Earlier, so yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> just nuzzling. This is very nice. I, I much prefer this. I don't like being angry. I just want to be friends with everyone. But... Terence is going to watch the hug slightly enviously, mm. but not join it. Would you, would, would you like to hug it out, Terence? Um... I'm slightly concerned about you touching me, but it, it seems like you've learnt your lesson. I mean, if it's on offer, sure. You lot are so on. nice. I've never met people so say. nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of love you need. <laughs> I've never met people who are so... Well, people, sorry. I've never met creatures as lovely and nice as you. I... Wow. Sure, I'll, I'll come back to your village and I'll tell you what my mum does and... We'll make sure it doesn't happen to this village. We'll make sure. Yeah. Good. And if necessary, I can turn invisible, and I can dispel magical effects, and I have these... I can grow these really horrible claws. We'll, we'll see. I have other things I can do. Could be very helpful. Oh, uh, you... This is... Uh, we could... We could so much more sense. Scratch helpful signs into trees. Um. By the way... I see you've got some of the... Mum showed me how to get all of the fail riled up and send them somewhere. Are the others okay? Um, they are on... We you might have a headache. Yeah. Okay. I can, can offer them some buns. Okay, well, I can talk them all down if necessary, and I can apologise to them too. Oh, 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 uh, can, you, you can talk to them, right? Yeah. What, what, what's my friend's name? Oh, um... 
I haven't asked. <laughs> he leans down to the sprite and non-verbally communicates through shrugs and gesticulations and gets the communication back. Uh, it's a half-cocked grin. That's a lovely name. Yeah, you weren't even close. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Again, it's all like going, hmm, how do I say it? And then it's all like the weirdness of trying to watch an utter smile. Like half cockily. So <laughs> so it just ends up winking, really. Do you all head back towards the village? Yes. yes. Has the son agreed to get the mother not to do this to any other villages as well? Oh, that's a good point. Um, I mean, I could go back and... I, I wouldn't go back on my own, though. We'll all come with you. We could well, bring I speak help. for everyone, but I'm very wise. You'd all could... come with me to... I mean, it's it's... She's not nearby. You've probably gone for quite a long time. Mm. We could leave... Animal huddle, huddle. We could leave our new friends to look after the village while we're away. Mm. And we could bring a basket of buns. And slugs. And, yes. and carrots. And hedgehogs. And carrots. I mean... What? 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 <laughs> so are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> so <it> looks down. <laughs> there, there might be hedgehogs who are not awakened on the way, Brock. I mean, we know that you're a carnivore. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I have never met another hedgehog. We know. And I would really <laughs> like to. We, we, yes. I do I... not want to see the first ever one of my fellow kind get eaten, <laughs> thank you. That would be horrible. I look pointedly at Brock as I imagine why Leaf has not met any other hedgehogs. Is that a cocktail stick in your mouth, Brock? Or... <laughs> I've been um, trying to do better with my oral hygiene. <laughs> Are you going to go with Terence to find Terence's mother, who is a long way away from here, and leave the village? I think we should make sure that the spikes are happy to look after the village if we do go away, because I don't want to leave the village completely unguarded. Mm. I mean, they, they, they were fine before they had us, so they they, they, they they probably will be fine for a few weeks, days. I mean, how much trouble can they possibly get into? Mm. There might be another streaker. <gasps> Don't even joke about that. <laughs> if we hadn't chased him out of town, who knows what he would have put things on? It would have been hideous. <laughs> Are you all going to leave your town in the hands of these Fey, who you do have some contact with them now through the Boggle and the Sprite, who might be able to um, talk to their friends about looking after the town in your absence? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything you want to grab before you go? Slugs. Carrots. Instruments. My I also like some carrots. <laughs> <laughs> As you walk out of the town onto the main road, <sighs> out of town. As you start making your way out of town towards whatever else. The townsfolk do sort of recognise that something's going on and see you all departing and there is sort of a faint like nods of appreciation but yes you're leaving town of alpha guard behind as you head off into the great what into the wider world with the green hag as an ally looking for his mother that is where we will pick up in another one-shot adventure at some point in time! <laughs> oh, always set up the sequel! <laughs> Still mainly miles! <laughs> I now really want to run this party through some classic adventures and see what happens! <laughs> 
Well, wasn't that a lot of silly fun? <laughs> My God. And we, we set up the through... sequel. <laughs> Were we meant to get to the hag today? Me. You, I, I'm not telling you what I had planned. There are many things I had planned. <laughs> oh Primarily, the tone became very silly very early, and I went, fuck it, I'm rolling with this. So, <laughs> 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 Thank you, everyone. That was splendid fun. Oh. Wonderful stuff. If you enjoyed tonight, we play every Monday and Tuesday night at 6 p.m. GMT on Mondays and at 7 p.m. GMT on Tuesdays. That's 10 a.m. on Mondays and 11 a.m. Tuesdays Pacific time. And what times? Time Time zones, time zones, you can work out from that point. On Mondays, we currently have uh, Seekers of Elturel Buried, DM by George Lockett, which is now in its six, it just had its six episodes that are halfway through. That'll be running until the end of March. In Tuesdays, we're currently doing one shots. Uh, you probably saw the one last week, and there's this one this week. And over the next two weeks, we have two very exciting ones coming up, so check out our social medias. Uh, if you want to be the first to know, always join us on Patreon, where we announce everything a couple of days beforehand. Speaking of which, join us on Patreon. That was really se <laughs> seamless segue there. I'm very proud of that. Um, yeah, the links in chat right now do help us out there our d20 club thank you so much for all of your support as always d20 club and speaking of said support we also have the support of some lovely sponsors and supporters as we mentioned at the top of the show so that's hero forge ultra pro uh, D, D beyond idol champions warriors of waterdeep and level up dice more about those in chat and do engage with them and support us in our engagement with them as well if you'd be so kind thank you very much please thank you Good. Uh, you can find us on socials, Roll Together RPG, basically everywhere. Um, we also have a YouTube channel where everything is uh, recorded and you can watch all of the videos of our previous escapades. Things stay on Twitch for about two weeks and then they have to go off. Uh, otherwise, we also have podcast versions of all of our shows, which you can catch on basically every podcasting app there is, because we use one of those things that you put them everywhere, so we've done that. But yes, you can find them on iTunes, um, Spotify, Google and all of the others. Just Google Roll Together RPG. Don't Google it. Search for it in the podcast. Whatever. Close enough. Podcasts. <laughs> podcasts. There we go. Um, good. That's basically it from us, I think. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you to the wonderful players today, as always. And see you all again soon on this channel at some point. Bye, everybody. Bye. Happy birthday for three days' time, Emma. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> thank you.